A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus, a mutagenic toxin Can you hear me created now? by the International I just off my mic Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation in the affair. The case was apparently closed, thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Can you hear me now? What you do is maybe bring that screen over a bit, Mobius. Hold on. <clears throat> Oops. Whoa. Volume's a bit off. Which one's too? Is one too loud? And the whole place went insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. Or do I need to like turn it up? Hello. I didn't even need to use this mic. I could use my microphone mic on my. Claire Redfield. What you call it? It's funny because I've never seen this CGI, like, look at this. Clean, but also look horrible. It looks even more horrible because you can see everything now. You can always adjust it again. We can adjust as we go because I haven't literally never set this up. I might have to turn down the capture of the game, maybe? Okay, yeah, I can I can turn it down. I have never adjusted the settings yet, so let's see. Just do that. Should be pretty easy to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guess I'm playing now. <laughs> Ugh, I don't want to play this long neck. Is that supposed to be Brad? Who is that? All right, here we go. Resident Evil Two, just how we remember. Everything's way too clean, I don't like it. Hopefully, no, I don't change. <laughs> I gotta be this guy the whole entire game. Great. Freeze. Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm it's human. clean for its time. Well, n this is like HD upscale with AI and everything. It looks it looks too good. Sorry about that. I've never played this with like I thought you were one with of AI upscaling. It's <laughs> the first What's time going ever. On in this town? Hold on. But yeah, this is uh, Resident Evil 2, as we all remember. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. I like the uh, I like the new main character. Why is Brad? It looks like Brad has like a 10 foot long neck. Why is his neck so long? Oh, maybe because he had it, he got deep throated by the Nemesis. 
All right, so another thing about this is that bullets is not bullets. Fuel. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Probably will never find a flamethrower. Wow, I'm surprised that was actually bullets. We got naked zombies in the beginning. Oh, the music's wrong too. It's like William Birkin's music playing. You can really see their asses in HD now. Jesus. Oh, I like this song. This is, um. Oh, okay, never mind. Crows, really? <laughs> Crows busting through. You have to grab everything in this game because everything's randomized. I put it on random. Obviously, I put it on randomization mode. No, well, it's probably the easiest alleyway I've ever had to go through. For once. The zombies be thick. Yeah, definitely. I think, uh, if I remember right, you, if you see the fronts, they have like little penises. And if they're HD upscaled, then uh, you're going to really see them. Oh, you can like read all this stuff too, like on the walls, it's sort of, like all these signs and stuff, like you can actually read them. Never been able to read them before. There's nothing in the trash. But yeah, so I've actually played this once and uh, it broke. Okay. Hopefully I get poisoned right away, that'd be nice. Oh wait, these don't, okay. Well, I guess this is it. This is it for good old Brad. I literally can't get past this monster. I had William Birkin at this spot once. Get down. There you go. I think it might be the other ones that can poison you. What? Why is... I like how a picture of Brad even shows up on the uh, screen. That's crazy. I wasn't expecting that. You'd be dead Brad. Why can't it just be regular Brad from 3? He looks horrible in this. Zombies, okay. But yeah, I remember I played this once, and uh, literally when I went to the Jesus, when I went to the first, uh, what is that, Kendo shop or whatever, the game broke because this zombie was Kendo, this zombie right here, and it uh, it automatically broke after that. Okay, those guys is you can pop their heads off pretty easy. Those specifically, those zombies. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Jesus. Go back in the bus. That'd be it. That'd be it for me. But yeah, this, the only reason why I'm playing this is I just, I don't know. I guess I haven't streamed in a while. I guess I might as well do it. Alright, now I can get by him. Now that I'm ready for him. At least they didn't poison me. That could be the most horrible thing ever, because you never know when you're going to find uh, blue herbs or anything. Uh-oh. got the baby spiders in here. But yeah, everything's been the same old, same old for me. Fucking, I've just been working. Live my own now, so... It's the struggle to live in Seattle. Try and pay bills every month. They ain't working out so good. <laughs> the random music is really, really weird. <laughs> laboratory music in this room. Oh, cool, and the game's breaking. Oh, that's oh, that would be why. This is probably gonna break it right here. Who, who are you? Oh, you must be the new guy. Oh. I mean, this kind of makes sense, at least. Sorry, but <laughs> she's moving. Like your party Wait, is her leg under her body and her arm too? Oh, that's what weird. So they... she actually has two, two limbs on that ago, side. Weird. I never knew that. There was this incident. She has another leg and an arm. Zombies that are usually behind the desk. The mansion located I've never in seen her full model before. City. Chris and the other Pet the cute little spiders. <laughs> 
umbrella. They'll poison me. Was behind everything. They risked their lives to reveal the truth. Oh, Baldur's Gate. Yeah, I played. No one believed them. Well, the reason why I played Baldur's Gate. Well, Not long after that, Baldur's Gate Three was all fun. This started to happen. And yeah, I just I thought that was kind of cool that you could like literally nuke Hang a whole entire the... area. So Don't I threw a video up me. saying you could just blow up everything with a bomb. In the other room. So I just posted it up. But I here, take this key card. God, I've been. I've played a lot in the last five years, actually. It's funny, because, like, the last five years, it was, what, Resident Evil 2 Remake came out, Resident Evil 3 Remake, okay, and Resident Evil 4 Remake came out. All those games come out, and I've never streamed them. Also, Devil May Cry 5. All that stuff. Kind of missed uh, kind of missed out in the last five years, huh? But I did. God, I just went back to because I started messing with editing again and stuff, and I just decided... Because I really enjoyed Phantom Liberty a lot. I thought it was like a really cool, interesting story. So I just went through and just kind of did like a long edit of the of the DLC or whatever. And so I did that, and that was that was actually pretty fun. Kind of getting back into editing and stuff. And then when I got back into editing, um, I don't know, just it was fun. It was fun just editing that stuff together. And I was like, yeah, I guess I should probably get back into streaming and stuff, and maybe do some more editing on videos. But I don't know what I want to do for a video I'm just kind of like randomly like I was thinking about it and I was just like oh let me uh I don't know what to post everyone posts everything there's no point in posting a video because everyone has already done it I stream I do yeah I haven't restated restream I haven't streamed anything in a very long time I played the shit out of Resident Evil 2 remake it was it was good not as good as this game the original still better I was like the only way they can make it better is if they do everything that the original game did and they didn't they fucked up on um, part two like the the b scenario b scenario was just thrown in as like a, oh we have to put it in because people will get mad if we don't sort of thing oh shit i'm gonna have to find keys to open these oh this is gonna be oh i forgot this yeah this is gonna be fun it's randomized so i never know where i'm gonna find anything found liberty uh it's the expansion to cyberpunk 2077 cyberpunk 2077 was interesting and it had good writing and all that and it was it was it was all right the game was okay the story was really interesting and fun and then they released the expansion and made 2.0 and that actually uh that actually made the game a lot better when they uh, when they added that in and i was actually shocked how good it was when i played the uh, expansion i wasn't expecting much but it's actually really really good the expansion story game got me right in the right in the feels as they would say i've never seen this as clean I grew up with the N64 version of this game, so this seeing this and this kind of like this level of detail is insane. It's a little too clean. Still a little bee. Hey, look, a green herb or blue herb. Good thing. I, if I got a poison, I could have survived. Uh, what'd you do? Uh, RE4 remake. I liked it because they tried it. I have mixed feelings about it. I think it's really good. I think RE4 remakes are really good. I like what they did with like Luis Serra and stuff like that and how they kind of made him like part, like he grew up in the village and they gave him like this whole huge backstory and stuff that you can find out through the game, which was kind of interesting. They gave him more character. Um, I mean, they obviously took it more seriously than the original four and that's kind of the downside. I really enjoy the, the cheesy campiness of the original, but I also see why they wouldn't do that again try to make it more serious because everyone wants like serious horror with Resident Evil I have mixed feelings but they did a really good job it's a really I mean all the Resident Evil games nowadays are really good looking games so um, yeah it, th that game was a lot of fun I really enjoyed it it's, I mean it's basically the same game it's just overall better better presentation I guess wait do I have my lighter I do. but yeah I enjoyed that game a lot. I played that a lot earlier this year. RE4 Remake was... Just, I mean, this year was actually really good. Baldur's Gate 3, I played that because I'm a huge fan of Baldur's Gate 2. Baldur's Gate 2 is like one of my favorite games of all time. It's a really good game with John Irenicus and all that. It's a great story. It's just a really crazy... like. Baldur's Gate 1 is alright. It's just kind of... It's kind of slow. And then 2 kind of like takes everything that 1 did and like blew it out the... Just like, just made it way bigger and way better. Baldur's Gate 2 is a really, really good game. Uh, not for everyone, because it's, oh, okay. 
Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get through this room without dying. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> Man, I'll try my best. Oh my god, there's five of them. Oh. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. Just... After I moved and everything, streaming came a little bit harder, and then, like... I had to upgrade my computer and stuff and do all these other things and my now my if I try to use the Elgato to stream it breaks my computer like my, my video card can't handle it just like will crash my video card well, that's not good but um yeah I've just been really busy I mean changed careers and stuff became an electrician been dealing with that I'm going to school and stuff from school to trying to survive and everything in between has been uh, it's been it's been a journey the last five years. COVID. Just everything has been uh, been really something. Wait, why do I have that stupid fuel? I don't even know if you can even use that. I don't even know if that's a real item. Got gas fuel. I think I'm going to leave the blue. But yeah, still playing games whenever I can. This probably won't be like a terribly long stream, but it'll be some. Being an electrician? Yeah, the only reason why I became an electrician is because of my last name. Sparks, why not? Sparks the electrician, huh? This guy creates sparks. That's the nice thing is if I do the job wrong and I create sparks, it's like it's in my name, right? What'd you expect? Aw, oh, Jesus. More fuel? That doesn't do anything. Alright, one plug down, three to go. <laughs> it's literally in the hall with some flickers. No big deal. Liquor sisters. They're all licking each other. They're big old tongues. I, I kind of like this randomizer because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> and you don't know where the items are going to be and it gives me a new challenge to the game. Like, I'm so good at the original. Okay. I should have brought a healing item. I'm dumb. And the fact that I can't save it all, like, I haven't found a single e ribbon yet, so... <sighs> Sucks. I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> Switch to Claire. Let's see how Claire's game goes. Because the thing is, if I want to, if I want to do a different seed, I have to re reset everything. So let's check out. Uh, let's check out Claire. Let's see what she's like. Do Claire. Resident Evil Two. There should be two different uh, seeds. So. This one be broken too. You never know when they when the thing's gonna break or not. Skip all that. All right. Hey, this looks familiar. Looks like the original game. Wait, unless it didn't. You know what? Maybe I have to set up seeds. Interesting. So you can't have multiple seeds running at once. So this is gonna be normal. Which means I need to reset it. I just assumed you could like save a bunch of different seeds for each uh, one, so I had to specifically play Leon. Wait. Otherwise, it's just nor it's just normal. It's good to know. Here? I don't like how Kendall That's looks. It. He looks too clean. Oh, I shouldn't have come in here. I can't reset now until the scene's over. Really? You can't Ooh. skip this? Hold on. Sorry about that, babe. Support on Patreon. I thought you were one of them. Is there a reset What's button? Going I think there on is. In this town? Hold on. I can try it again. That room with the liquors it can be pretty bad until I get like a decent gun. Oh, I don't know if I can beat that. That's going to be really, really, really hard. Unless I can find a gun. Which I probably won't. Let's see. How the hell you get... That. Well, you can't reset on this one? Hold on. There has to be a reset button. There is on the PS1 game, how is there not in the PC version? That doesn't make any sense. I can turn on frame rates. I can do that too. Window mode. Alright, I guess we'll just we'll make a new seed. Whoa! We'll do a new seed. Maybe I should put that down so it doesn't look like that. <clears throat> Wait. Alright, yeah, that's great. <laughs> new seed. Go in here, we'll do, uh, let's do Claire. 
play as Elza Walker. Uh, oops, I forgot you get to be. Run as admin, generate seed. I played this once and I beat it pretty easily too. I actually did one round and I beat it pretty easily. It wasn't too bad. This one was a lot harder just because those liquors in the hallway. That's like the worst place to have liquors or anything that's like powerful. It's like one of the most, like, it's like the best. That's the hall you go in a lot. You go in that hall a lot. And it's small. Right? It's funny because, like, when I play when I play the remake of Resident Evil 2, I only play with the original music. We'll see what happens. See if it actually worked or not. Should have. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, I always play the Resident Evil 2 remake with the uh, original music on. I think it's a lot better. Can't get over it. Like, the, this music was just really okay. I thought I didn't... I thought I picked not Elza Walker. Did I not generate a seed? Okay, whatever. We'll see what happens. Alright, I guess we're going to play uh, as 1.5 Claire. Randomizer doing his job. He's doing his job wrong. I told it not to be Elza Walker. That's okay. Freeze. It's weird because, like... What you when you're playing Don't as shoot. Leon, you can human. generate as a random NPC, but you can only be either Claire or Elza Walker as mm. on hers. There's only two. Sorry, you can't be a random baby. NPC. I don't know why. Or maybe I you can. I just don't know how to do it. What's going on it's funny that the now? PC version, you can't. I guess none of the ports, you can skip these cutscenes. You can skip all the CGI cutscenes, and you can even skip door animations, but you can't skip the cutscenes. Don't you worry, girly. But don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe in here. I'm keeping a close eye on I like how he says he's keeping a close eye on things, and then literally five seconds later, he dies. It's not very... Oh, you know what? This might be... The... What? It generated the same seed that I had that one time. I've seen this before. The William Burke is going to be an alleyway. There's going to be... In the next room, there's going to be... Um... The next room. Next room was zombie dogs. I've seen this seed. It's not very random if I know this. I, I swear, didn't I just generate a new seed? Could have sworn I did. No, there's nothing out here. No, it is different because there's crows. There's nothing in here. Okay, never mind. This is different. It's random because I've seen that gate security card there before. Oh, okay. Arm. What? Invisible zombies? Is that what I'm looking at right now? What is happening? Oh, it's literally like... Oh, it's the walls. It's the wall arms. The ones that come out of the windows. That is insane. <laughs> generators at the start? Oh my god. Like, the village is just all generators. Like, that first part where you have to run around and, like, wait for the, the bell to ring from the church. So you're just running around and the regenerators are everywhere. And they just keep spawning. Yeah, you die. I don't know how you can get past that. Spiders ain't so bad. That's another weird thing about the remakes. None of the remakes have had uh, giant spiders. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Resident Evil 3 remake is not very good in my opinion. I never liked the third remake. It's It seemed like it was rushed out. They, they literally spent like a year and they just like pushed it out. Eh, it's okay. But they ruined Nemesis. The fact that Nemesis is worse than Mr. X from Resident Evil 2 is not a good thing. Like, Mr. X was done incredibly well in the remake. Like, the fact that he chases you around, okay, chases you around the precinct the whole entire game, compared to where, like, this game, it's just, like, certain events, scripted events, is was really smart. And it was, uh, very good. That was, uh, that's probably, that's one of the better things about Resident Evil 2 Remake than the original. I'll give it that. But um, the, the B scenario just ruins it. There's no B scenario. It was just tossed in to be like we have a B scenario. But it just all it does is you start the game off in a different area and you get a different gun you have to play with. Uh, there's a handgun you have to collect and you have to use that. Okay, that's Mr. X. But um, yeah, you basically have to play with that new handgun 
instead of your gun, your original handgun. It's like the only difference. But the story's exactly the same, and it doesn't make any sense because you fight the same things that Claire does. And it was like, how did RE2 Remake do better? Because RE2 Remake actually makes sense. Like, you run into things at different spots. You don't fight the same boss twice with the same person. It doesn't make any sense. But, you know, whatever. Can't be, can't be picky because, I mean, it's such a... It was a lot of work they put into it. To put in that much more work, I guess it's like, yeah, I can see why they didn't do it, but I don't know. Just this is not as good. I wouldn't say it's lazier. Oh, I don't even have to go in there now. Nice. I don't even have to go into the uh, room with the girl that was dead on the floor last time. I wonder if she actually. I kind of want to see it. Let's see what happens. See who it is this time. It's gonna be. I hope it's. Who, who could it be? Hopefully it's. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, I can't even go in there. <laughs> Guess we'll never see that scene. It was gonna be Chief Irons. I wonder if they have a Resident Evil 4 uh, randomizer mod. They probably do. So far, this isn't too bad. It's kind of. Uh, it's easier. Than what my other one was. What's nice too is Claire has the lock pick, so I can grab whatever random item this is. Gonna need that. And from what I know, I don't know if the game can break like. I'm sure they were smart enough to think, hey, it's not completely randomized with the items. Like, you'll have to get like those stones, obviously, in the precinct. And not like. You'd leave all those items in the precinct, but you wouldn't put them outside of the precinct or past the precinct, because then your game would just be over. Because you would never be able to get those items. Or you could potentially miss them at the beginning of the game. That's funny, that's always a liquor, even after the cutscene. Hey, pick that up. But yeah. I don't know. Resident Evil 3 remake was kind of a bummer. Just really seemed like they rushed it, and they actually didn't. They didn't have the clock tower or anything like that. You can see it. I guess it's not really a big deal. I mean, that part's kind of small, but I don't know. wasn't a huge fan of the three remake. In fact, it if it, it, it was definitely the shortest too. It, it was like you could beat that game in like under an hour if you were good enough. I remember beating it in like 40 minutes or something like that. It's like, are you kidding me? Well, maybe I'm exaggerating. It might be a little bit longer than that. But I remember getting beaten it under two hours very, very easily, which is insane for for a uh, Resident Evil game. What's weird is they kind of try to trick you to make it seem like it feels like it's longer. So like, if you die in Resident Evil 3 Remake, it doesn't reset your time if you load a game. It continues your time like you're still playing. So even if you die and have to go back, um, it, it just keeps adding to your time. I remember the first time playing it, it was like it was like four hours or something like that. And the second time I played it, it was like under like two hours easy. I wasn't even trying. Got electrical bullets. I got like the the picture doesn't even work on it. Precinct key. I guess I'll need those soon. Don't need that. Got nine bullets. Who knows when I'll get handgun bolts again. Let's see. If I had an ink ribbon, I could save. Well, I better find a grenade launcher then. I wonder what happens if you pick up the picture. Oh, I guess maybe it'll still be the picture. Yeah, I wonder what happens if you search the desk 50 times. Will it be a random item or will it still be the film? Is that necessary? I guess we'll find out. Which Resident Evil games came out like sports games. If they did, you'd have Resident Evil 3 Remake all over again. Just a half-assed, rushed game. I like when they take their time, because like they took their time with Resident Evil 4, and it and it shows. Jesus, why is... Literally, Mr. X is in every hallway so far. Well, he's in the front of the precinct. He's downstairs. He's up here. At least he's slow. It's funny, he slows down whenever he gets near you. Oh, wait. Okay, thank God. I was about to say, do I have to do that stupid puzzle while he's in here? So they must have cut that out of the randomizer. Probably broke the game or something. Very interesting. 
Alright, crawling zombies. So far, this is a lot easier than my last seed. A lot of, uh, no liquors yet, except for that one. First one. I, oh, okay, I was about to say, is that really a grenade launcher right there? They hurt me. They hurt me. What's your favorite uh, Resident Evil game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get Chris's diary. What is that going to be? <laughs> I don't want that. It's the worst gun in the game. Because I think it is. I've never liked it, personally. If I remember right, is it... Either Resident Evil 2 or Resident Evil 3 has bullets behind the desk. It was 3. 3 has the bullets behind the desk. Well, I want to see that picture in HD. I've never seen that picture of the stars members in like 4K. <laughs> whatever this is set to. AI powered 1080p or whatever it is. Whatever this is set at. Yeah, I wonder if this is going to be... I don't know if it's a random item or not. I would assume it wouldn't be because that would be kind of ridiculous if you had to search this 50 times to get a necessary item. Because like, imagine getting one of the cubes in, in this desk but you didn't know about the uh, the film being here. I guess you'd have to to play the randomizer. You'd have to know this game pretty well, because there's a few items you can miss pretty easily. I would assume. <laughs> so it is random. It could be the cube there. Very interesting. I'm not gonna take the ink ribbon. Yeah, it's. De I definitely think it is. Oh, look at that. There's no way. This is definitely a. This was definitely done by somebody. There's no way this was. This can't be the real picture. It looks too good. Like, that looks too good. But it also looks very uncanny. It looks weird, and it looks too good. Whatever. I mean, it is AI upscaled, so I mean, that's probably why it looks uncanny. But interesting. So, yeah, whatever's in the desk can be random, too. So you have to know about that secret. Otherwise, just, you could potentially lose the game. Could be the cube in there. Shit, you better know everything about this game. If you don't, well, good luck finding everything. But I guess this was kind of nice about the randomizer. When you play the randomizer, um... Wait, I already have this key? Nice. Changes everything. That changes everything. Ooh. But yeah, I... Well, I can't remember the last time I played Resident Evil 2. Actually, no, I played it pretty recently. I actually went through and played um, Resident Evil 1 recently, too. I played Resident Evil 1, the original, but I played a modded version of the game. It's like that... Really? Oh, this game's gonna break. This is like undead. Oh no! Claire, you made it. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Hi, Tails Gaming. How's it going? Oh yeah, Marvin just fell over and he got back up. I really thought the game was gonna break when he fell over. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course, but before I forget, here's a radio. So this creepy music while uh, Marvin's getting you the radio. Look, Marvin never died. He's fine. It's just like an RE2 remake. See? I remember this in Resident Evil 2. Bow gun with one bullet. Sweet. This is the uh, official version of Resident Evil 2. What is it gonna be? Oh, nice. Machine gun ammo. It keeps giving me like random machine gun ammo and like whatever that stupid electrical gun bullets. Really? This song's playing in here. I remember this song in here. The self-destruct system has been activated in this library. Really? Already? Oh, that stinks. Oh, that sucks. Oh, man. That's the thing about Capcom is... Uh, I don't know what it what it is, but they will not make a two player co op uh, game for nothing. They've always good games that they could potentially make two players, but they don't like making two player cooperative games. 
like they always make like these pseudo ones like they have Dr dragon's dogma 2 is coming out right dragon's dogma 2 which should be four players because that would make the game a hundred times better but capcom won't do it devil may cry 5 has a pseudo two-player mode that you can only play it in like a certain level like, there's like one level i think in the whole game of devil may cry 5 where you can play with other people but it's like hard to connect with your friends and all that so you have to just get the mod the mod's really sick though there's a mod that makes you play a two-player Devil May Cry 5, and that's awesome. You can make it as difficult as possible, or as easy as possible. You can do all kinds of stuff with it, it's pretty cool. But yeah, Capcom's horrible at making two-player co-op games. Hi, Daniel. But, uh, yeah, that's the one thing about Capcom. Like, I love, like, they're making a lot of good games recently, but they're always, yeah, they're always single-player can never play with your friends, even if they're designed to be like two player. It seems like they could be designed to be two player. Then just don't do it. I don't know. I guess it's. I mean, it, it's just harder to do two players, obviously. And so they just want to make a decent. Wait, I don't even know how many handgun bolts I have. This zombie is invincible. Are you kidding me? I just shot that zombie ten times. All right. Well, I guess I'm not shooting any more zombies. Oh, I have to go back to that hallway and check out that other door. I also need to put away crap. But yeah, this is the uh, definitive PC version of the game. As you can see, it's... Uh, <laughs> it's just how you remember. Music placed in the right spots. I've only played this mod once. And I've never played... I just got this stupid HD mod thing to see like AI upscaled like backgrounds and stuff and it looks a little too good sometimes. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Maybe I, I might like the uh... I don't know. I have a weird feeling about it. It's a little too clean. But it's not bad. <laughs> it's obvious inf infinite health. Yeah, I'm, unless it's hard mode because there's not a hard mode on, on the play okay on the PlayStation 1 version. There's a... Uh, uh, sucks, he's right in front of the door. Oh, I forgot to grab that guy's body. Uh-oh. How'd that guy grab me? Was there one in front of me? There must have been. Oh, I'm dead. Not dead yet. I forgot to check this guy's body, I think. Did I check his body? I did not. So you got... Oh, that sucks. Really? Yeah. No, I... My best friend, who's he's in California now. Tim's in California. Him and his brother Sydney are. They went back to California, and that's who I'd play pretty much every game with. If I played games with anybody, it was always those two. And so I, I haven't seen them in. They left Washington and right when the pandemic started. So I haven't seen them in like four years. But I asked, that's who I used to play games with. I sometimes play games with Tim, but not not too often doesn't happen too often but yeah now that I'm on my own doing my own thing up here okay an FPS one game yeah it's kind of upscaled though <laughs> it's uh it's the PC port so this is the source next version which is like a PC port that was made in, I don't know if it's Japanese exclusive if you watch the cutscenes, they're always like, okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to die here, actually. Oh, okay. But, uh... Where was that? There was a... Oh, yeah, it was in the desk. It was in the stars member desk. Um, there was a... I need to save. I'm going to save. <laughs> Just because. Right, I don't want to die. But, uh... Shit, what was I saying? See, I already forgot. Um... My god. Yeah, I don't know what I was saying. Sorry. I got distracted by some plant zombies. Or plant... What do they call those things? I don't remember what they call them. It's been a long time. This is so surreal. What, me coming back after five years? Yeah. Well, the thing is, I didn't even expect to be able to stream today. I didn't think this would work. I was, like, looking at my Elgato, and I was like, oh, yeah, I can't... I can't stream. I don't have the right stuff. I don't have another... I technically have another PC, but I would need to get another monitor. I was like, ah, do I really want to go and get another monitor? That's going to cost me however much just to get that and then I can set up my old PC connected to my new PC but apparently I can just stream off of my graphics card which is crazy 
But I guess it depends how powerful the game's running. Like if I try to run like something newer, I don't know if it would work out as well. It might, who knows. Um, but yeah. I didn't know I'd actually be able to do this. Oh, yeah, I was gonna save. <laughs> should probably grab that. I gotta go through this stupid room with zombies again. Miss my humor? Yeah. I don't know, I think it's changed over the last five years. Depression takes hold, changes you, molds you. You're gonna get beat by it or. Uh, I might die in this room. Alright, I gotta be careful here. Mold you into something new. I don't know. I'm in a weird, weird time in my life right now, adjusting to my new <laughs> career and all that. Okay. Well, at least I don't have to worry about him ever again. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get killed by a floor zombie. I don't think I've ever been killed by a floor zombie. It's only been, yeah, five years, so I mean, I guess that. That's kind of surreal. I don't know, ever since I, I've been editing a bunch of stuff, and I was like, kind of like, eh, kind of bored. I kind of want to do something. Look, you can see Jill's hat in this. I don't think I ever recognized Jill's hat there. Because it's usually not this clean. Uh, oh, yeah, I gotta go back to the desk. I keep forgetting what I'm doing. I gotta save. <laughs> I don't know if I want to save now. Oh, really? I gotta search this 50 times again? Never mind. I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not gonna search that desk 50 times for a damn ink ribbon again. <laughs> Kidding me? You really? If you don't pick that up, you have to search it 50 times again. That's insane. I should have just picked it up. Oh my god. I wonder if you can get killed by four zombies. Probably. How did I get past it? Can't get me, can't get me. I don't think they can kill you. Oh, that's interesting. All right, fuck it. Take it. Just kill them all. That's a, that's a very new thing I never knew about. You cannot be killed by floor zombies. Interesting. Good to know. I don't know how I got through that. The first time I went through that, I went through it clean. Was there a healing item anywhere? I can't remember. I wasn't paying attention, I was talking. There's nothing more. There's a lot of ammo for guns I don't have. So far I found like a ton of like ammo for machine gun and flame or the bolt gun. Yeah, she kicks the zombies. I think Leon stomps them and I think she kicks them. I think that's the oh I can't get past this. It's over. Oh man. There's nothing I can do. But yeah, I'm dead. Like I can't, I can't go back. Mr. X will kill me. Well, no, not even Mr. X. I can get past him. I can't get past the plan zombies, and I can't get past this zombie. These zombies, I should say. There's multiple zombies. This is it. <laughs> this is gonna be it. Be it for this run. Maybe I should have just saved. All I have to do is cut the corner. Easy. While well, I'm in danger. It's impossible. It's impossible when you're in danger. Should never went back down there. Should never went back down there. Because I don't even think I got anything in that precinct room. I think I just got some ammo. So yeah, now I know I don't have to ever go back to that room. So if I do it again... Let's do... Hold on. We'll do Leon again. This time we'll switch it. We'll switch him. We'll do new fade. We'll do swap music. Mm, I really don't like swap music. We can just swap it. We can do everything else though. Why not? All right. So now we do that. Run it. Source mod. We want the randomizer. Could play the original. I got no healing items. Yeah, it's all random, so I don't know what's going to happen. So now we're going to play as Leon. I'm also playing on hard mode, so apparently yeah, that's uh, harder. It looks like it is a little bit harder. It looks like you die faster. I don't think there's less items, though. I think the items are the same. I think you just get killed easier. Let's try this again. Wait, did I pick Leon? Yeah, yeah I did. Okay. Oh my god, I'm Tofu. Hell yeah. You <laughs> can hear this whole entire... Hell yeah, this is awesome, Seed. 
Oh god, maybe not. Oh, this sucks actually. <laughs> I like that I get to play as Tofu though. I gotta make it. I wonder if Tofu is technically stronger. Break out of it! Oh, that's not fair. Okay. Tofu, this picture is just a block. You stream for a bit? Wait, how many zombies got in the house so far? I don't know. Wait, in the house? Uh, a lot has happened? Yeah, it's been... Uh, went through a whole pandemic Wait. since I streamed. <laughs> oh my god, Sherry. What are you doing this is probably the best seed ever so far. So far, this is the best seed. I guess it's specifically Sherry with a, uh, Claire's vest on. Sorry about that. <laughs> what the... I thought you were one of them. What did you stream, Tails? What kind of stuff did you stream? What's going on in this town? The I fact that he squeaks whenever he uh, I don't moves is in... <laughs> it's gonna make me go crazy. Something was wrong. The entire city was infested with zombies. Here it is. <laughs> Oh, poor Sherry's gonna be murdered by zombies. Poor Sherry. This is gonna be very interesting to see happen. <laughs> Watching Sherry get eaten by. How is this gonna work? It's just gonna fall over on her? <laughs> Sherry. Oh, wait. Technically, Sherry has an item on her. Nah, I'm not gonna get it. I'm assuming it's not important because I, I don't think you'd want to put unimportant unimpor items outside the precinct because you can miss them permanently. I'm sure they planned. Oh my god. Uh, hopefully they can't leave that that cage. Okay, that caged area. All right, I can get past them. Nice. At least they can't. If they could get in the hallway, it'd be over. <laughs> Whole bunch of stuff. It's uh, it's been some of your favorite games from the last few years. It really, was kind of a dry time. Like 2019, 2020 for games. It felt like I feel like games are picking up again because there was a lot of games this year that came out that were actually really good. Oh goody! Well, just to make sure they can't hear me. All right, you can stop. You don't know I'm here, dude. All right, fine. Go over here. Stop running. Guess you can hear the tofu squeak. All right, well, this is gonna end badly. Yep. Never did face cam though. <laughs> All right, well, I could do that one again. I just have to know that there's flickers in there because if you run, yeah, they'll just chase you down and like you saw, die instantly. Like that, what, what, what am I supposed to do in that like scenario? Like there's nothing. I'll try again. I could do better. I could do better. I wasn't expecting there to be three lickers in that, that little hall. I don't know. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be very hard to get past. All right, here we go again. Try again. Ah, uh, if I could just get past these guys without getting hit, that'd be nice. I don't know if I can though. These guys are very good at grabbing you in this game. One of my least favorite monsters in this game because they be able to grab you pretty easy. They're slower than zombies, but easier to get hit by. I had sworn on the PC version you could skip these cutscenes, but I guess not. Hold your fire! I'm a human. Tofu the human. <sighs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that, babe. She even squeaks too. I, I didn't realize she there. squeaks too. <laughs> Does everyone squeak in the cutscenes? What's going on in this town? Hold on. <laughs> I don't have a clue. I'm By the time clue, I darling. noticed something was wrong. The entire city was infested with zombies. Damn, Sherry's more manly than I am. 
finally play Detroit Become Human. Oh, yeah, Detroit Become Human. Yeah, when they're gonna make another game. It's been a long while since, uh... Whoever, I can't even remember the name of who made that game. It's the same people who made Indigo Prophecy and stuff. Watch her have, like, the Magnum on her. Let's find out. The streets are no longer safe. Pick up her gun, dude. Does she not have anything on her? There it is. Oh, glad I picked that up. You beat Silent Hill 1 with the best ending? What do you consider the best ending? Because some people don't like the happy endings. That's why Silent Hill 1 is my favorite, because it actually has, it feels like you can at least get a happy ending. It seems like every other Silent Hill game is just a depressing ending. And maybe not Silent Hill 3. I barely remember Silent Hill 3. Oh, that sucks. He's out. He's actually outside the uh, gate. I wonder if I can... I think he's stuck, though. I might be able to stab him. <laughs> you had him. Hopefully I'm not moving forward. That would suck. Don't worry, just, just take 300 hits. <laughs> it's very convenient when a spider can't move. Oh, nice. That's not too bad. At least they can't get... Okay, never mind. That's bad. Shit. Well, that's it for me. This is actually it for me. Oh, sucks. What am I supposed to do? Come on, at least he's not attacking me now. There we go. Well, hopefully another spider doesn't come out. Alright. Maybe I'm not maybe it's not over for me yet. It's over for me. Silent Hill one and then I I mean Silent Hill two I can see why people love that game. I'm not I'm not, I don't know. There's something about me. There's something about me in psychological horror I don't really care about. Wait. Oh shit, I forgot. Okay! That's fair. It's like it wasn't designed for liquors to be there or something. Sorry, I got screaming. Try not to scream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't hear me anymore. Bozos. Oh, I can't. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get past these guys. <laughs> run past it. I can't run past spiders, though. That's... He heard me going down the... Really? Did he really hear me going down the ladder? Or the stairs? That sucks. Alright, I don't think they hear me anymore. My only chance is to get... Okay, yeah, they definitely... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Two has a good ending? That has the ending with the dog. I like that. It's probably my favorite ending. It's a good ending? I don't remember that game having a good ending. All I remember is you're... I mean, I guess I won't spoil it, but... All I remember is you kind of just, kind of, I don't know. Resident Evil 2. I guess it depends on how you feel. I mean, no matter what, you're who you are. His character is a, you're not really a hero. I guess I can say that. You're not a hero in that game. You're not a good person in that game. And I guess that's why I don't really like 2 that much. Because I like, don't really, I don't know. Hard to say. You could argue why Silent Hill 2 is a good game, why it's a bad game. Eh, just not my thing. Psychological horror is just not my thing. I don't think it's all that creepy. I think it's just weird. I think it's just strange things. I like this kind of stuff because it's like. I can understand it, I guess? I don't know. Hi, Toompy. How's it going? It's only been like five years. Who are you? What are you doing here? Remember, remember this game? Your fire. I'm a human. It's changed a little bit. <laughs> it's just like we remember. Sorry, I can't beat this. This is. I might have to. I might have to do another seed. I thought you were one of them. I'm gonna try to get through this one more time. What's and if I can't do it, try a different seed, I guess. I don't have a clue. 
By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. This is the, uh, this is the Resident Evil 2 HD remake. I'll grab all this crap again. If I ever find, you know, it'd be really nice if I actually got the Magnum, <laughs> like really early. It'd be unstoppable. Nostalgia. Well, what's funny about this is, uh, <laughs> it's not. Is it really nostalgic if it looks like this? <laughs> oh yes, good old Sherry died in the beginning of Resident Evil 2. I remember that very well. I hate. Mm, it's fair. I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive and kicking still. Doing my own thing, trying to. Working on my life, I guess? I don't know. Really don't have a plan for. Wait a minute. Why am I doing that when I can just do this? It's funny because I think Tofu has, like, technically the most health, but. Yeah. Technically on, I guess. Shit, here we go again. But from what it looked like, it looked like that spider couldn't actually attack me from here. Oh, it definitely can. Uh, this is it. <laughs> I'm gonna die again. I can't get. I can't run past the spider. That's the problem. It's, the spider is a solid object. Oh, actually, I might be okay. If I could run past the, the spider, I would. I don't know how I got through it that first time. That first time I got through it real easy. <laughs> real long time. No, this is the original game. This is this is the HD uh, remake. The game came out like what, 2019 or something like that? <laughs> it's the new game. It's the game I never streamed. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's liquors. I shouldn't be running. It's over for me, folks. I cannot get through. This is the, this is as far as I can get. Is tofu. They can hear me coming down those stairs. That's really annoying. Okay. I, I legitimately can't do anything about this. They know where I'm at. I'm gonna stay here for a second. It has been a long time. In fact, it's been so long. I don't even know who I am anymore. Look, Alex, it says Alex on the wall. Hey, look at me. It's like they knew that I'd play this. Oh, also, I think the last time I played Resident Evil 2, I was playing the N64 port, and it looks like... It doesn't look half as good as this. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's not. Oh, okay. That's, uh, that's as far as I got in with Tofu. Naked zombies. Wait a minute. They were in a good position. I could have seen their wee-wees. We have to get through this now. What's in here? Hopefully just zombies. That's actually nice. <laughs> okay, cool. Can you even knife crows? Just get out of here. Now I don't have to go through that first part again. If I want to do the seed. Oh. Actually, I might not make it. Get out of there, dude. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Is Wesker in this game? Not in two. Look, you get to see my death scene. Great death scene. <laughs> How to get... Uh... This is really difficult. This is a lot harder than I remember. I can usually get to the precinct without dying. You should get through this whole game without dying. The Resi universe. Which that'd be kind of cool if they put up if they modded this and they made it so like Wesker could chase you, <laughs> like chase you around like Mr. X or something like that. Ugh. He just whispers stars. He's like, but you're not even stars. He's the nemesis of this game, that Wesker. 
Alright. I know what I'm doing now. I'm gonna do this without getting hit. It'll be a perfect run now. Let's see if I can skip it. Maybe maybe I have to press a specific key on the uh, keyboard. Oh, that didn't work. Who are you? What are you doing here? Nope. Hold your fire. Very interesting. I could have sworn you could skip that on this. On this one, on this port specifically. Sorry, Sorry about that, babe. That'd be the only like better thing with Sherry would say. Calling you babe. What's going on in this town? Tofu the babe. Hold on. I don't have a clue. By the time I know. It's funny because I had a seed wrong. once. We're in that alleyway. The uh, city was infested with zombies. What's his name? Was there? Uh, William Burke in his first form was there. That was actually a lot easier than the <laughs> than the uh, three liquors in that room. But then again, liquors are kind of like one of the hardest things to dodge, at least to get around. Especially like if there's one, you can usually get around pretty easy. But if there's more than one, you're not really gonna get around it very easy. But this time I'll do it. I won't get licked. If I do get licked. No, I'm gonna get licked. I'm gonna get killed by the spiders too. If I get lucky, that spider will go back in his cage. If I don't get lucky. Maybe I just stay right here and kill kill the one spider. I can't see where my hands are. <laughs> I can't tell where <laughs> Tofu's aiming. There's a huge white block on the screen. Like, what am I supposed to do? There we go. I might be able to do this without getting hit. There we go. That's better. This is funny because I don't think I've ever had to struggle on Resident Evil 2 and I don't think I've ever struggled in this game since I first played it. <laughs> the first few times I beat it. So actually like like not being able to get the precinct is uh, pretty insane. It's not usual for Alex. Alex usually just runs through the game without saving and then regrets it and gets killed like halfway through the game or later. <laughs> I usually underestimate it. Turn around. Get out of here. Right. Just gotta take it a little bit slower, that's all. A little slower than, uh... You know, okay. I guess they hear you... They hear you jump. Or jump off that, that dumpster. Technically making noise. It's interesting, I didn't... Like, you never really see a liquor when you jump off of things and so um yeah i didn't know they had like that kind of mechanic where they can actually hear you jump off of like high ledges that's not a thing i think you ever run into <laughs> stupid all right i can get past these guys you gotta hit just gotta be very very careful just a little plants doing all right doing better okay I hate the plants. They literally can grab you from like 10 feet away, I swear. It's like, you don't even, it's like zombies. Zombies you can dodge pretty easy. These are actually very hard to dodge. They have a way bigger hitbox to like grab you in. Wesker, wait! 808! I'm going the safe way. I'm not even gonna risk it. I don't even care. Ada's fate. Bitch in the red dress. See, that's the thing about Resident Evil 4 Remake. I don't... I kind of miss. They don't call... I mean, obviously, they can't call her Bitch in the Red Dress. They call her, like, Bitch in the Red Turtle Neck Sweater. Well, well, if it ain't the Bitch in the Turtle Neck Sweater. You can call her that. That should be the line in the game. But yeah, I, mixed opinions on 4. 4... Interesting what they did with things. But also, I don't know. Something about the original I still love. I like it. Alright, I'm gonna have to see the scene. Let's see who's in here. Hopefully it's the same. <laughs> Earlier it was the uh, the dead girl in uh, Chief Iron's office. And it looks very, very awkward. <laughs> who's today? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> who, who are you? Cool. 
<laughs> you must be the new guy. So that's what Tyrant's uh, sack looks like, huh? Interesting. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been canceled. What happened? About two months ago. Wait, I guess I do have to play those games again, huh? I'll have to play the remakes again. I haven't played Resident Evil 2 remake in a few years. In a mansion located I mean, in obviously I played Resident Evil 4 this year. The remake. Chris and the other stars members discovered that and I think yeah I liked um I like what they did with Ada's story too they kind of they risked their they did more with it in the remake truth. actually do like it better but separate no ways is really good believe them not long after that all this there's even four remake in general is very good uh, uh, hang in there. they kept it pretty Don't close to the game or to the original game just while trying to make it more serious. So I guess it depends on what your preference is. If you yeah. want something campy, go for four. If you want something that's you should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. Something that's just kinda but like more serious. Just go. More action oriented. Well fine. But the fact that you have a knife parry in, in the new on. one's pretty pretty fun. It's funny because I think if I went back to the original Resident Evil 4, I'd try to like hit the space bar when zombies are about to hit me, so I could like deflect them. But it wouldn't happen in the original. So you just get hit. Wait a minute. Okay, he does give you the key. Cool. About to say, I don't know if I had the key. <laughs> yeah. Mr. X is uh showing his junk off. I like how Tofu went down to his like penis level. Talking to it. that's where his mouth is. Oh, oh. I mean, he was on fire, so I mean, he is dying. Poor guy. Just gotta sit there and burn to death. Yeah, who knows what we'll run into if I can even get. Hold on. If I can even get. Oof. That sucks. Sorry. I have to find out where I'm working tomorrow. Yes, I'm starting at 8.30. That sucks. 8.30 a.m. I'm so... I usually work at like 6 a.m. now. But, uh... Oh, that's right. Leon has to come back with the stupid keys. If I ever find him. Oh. See if I can make it to the other cutscenes in this game. It'd be nice to actually get somewhere in this. At least I have one ring ribbon. I'll probably save if I can get to the save room over here. I have to remember to pick up everything off the dead body. I don't think I want that. I'm not taking it. I ain't taking that. It's just I can't get over these cutscenes because, like, I think even these were redone or at least upscaled or something because it's. I've never seen these cutscenes look that good. Like I told Mateus, I don't know if I like them. I think they're a little too clean. Don't kill me, you bozo. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Oh, thank God he was like the wrong way. I remember playing the RE2 remake, and I remember liquor's actually pretty easy if you know what you're doing. I don't know if they fixed it. They might have fixed it by now, but I remember you could like go up behind the liquor and just knife it in the back, and whenever it like tries to turn around, you just go back behind it. You just constantly keep going behind it while stabbing it. Liquor can't do anything. If I remember right. I mean, it's been a very long time since I played it. But I got pretty good at that, actually. That game. The remake. Hey, there's ammo on the table. Why can't it be an actual gun? Like, could I just get the Magnum? Life's only getting better. I'm assuming this is always going to be the jewel, just because... No, it's not. Shit, I can go to the basement. I can already go to the basement. But does that mean I'll find whatever I need in the basement? Guess we'll find out. See if I can get to the save room. Oh, this is what's going to make or break it, actually, is this hallway coming up. This is what's going to make or break my game. If there's liquors in here, I'm screwed. I had a run where there was like five liquors in here. Come on, be be Mr. X. Mr. X. Zombies. Shit. 
I was actually not expecting zombies. So I was not ready for it. These zombies are faster too. Their heads pop off every time. What's up with that? Is this like an unused model or something? Whoa. His arm like expanded. Oh, that, you know what that is? That's the RE 1.5 zombies. God, I would have loved it if that was an actual green herb. Alright, I'm going to save it. I don't care if I'm an orange caution. I think those might be 1.5 zombies. Definitely broken, like 1.5 zombies. Where's the key I need? Let's see. Cranks, night. No. Do that later. Like, this is what's kind of fun about this is like, now I have to kind of like re strategize how this is going to work. Like, do I go to the basement first? See what's down there? Or do I just go on my normal route and try to see what I can find in the normal route? I don't know. Oh, and you have to search the. Uh, I found out that you have to search the. What is it? I have to search that stupid desk, Wesker's desk, 50 times. There's a random item there. It's not just the camera film. Uh, my opinion on Resident Evil 2. I think it's really good. I thought it was actually really good. I played. I. I played it a lot, actually. Um, biggest downside uh, was the B scenario. I think that's what... I think the original game is better, just because of that. They actually had coherent stories with the A and B scenario, and then the B scenario in, in Resident Evil 2 Remake is what's the fatal flaw of it, I think. It's the fact that it's just the same story, and you fight the same boss that... Like, Claire, you fight, like, Wesker. You fight every single boss at the same... that the scenario A person fights and so since you fight the, the scenario, scenario A bosses it doesn't make sense in the timeline you know what I'm saying like why would you fight the same thing twice in the same room at the same time they didn't really think about that they didn't try to like it was just an afterthought B scenario is an afterthought and I think that's the downside to it other than that it's really solid I think it's really good done really well Mr. X is incredible that's like probably one of the best things they did and the fact that it's better than Resident Evil 3's nemesis is insane Resident Evil 3's Nemesis is just like a scripted event mostly. Whereas Tyrant on Resident Evil 2 Remake actually follows you around the precinct, which is really, really awesome. I think it's really awesome that they did that. It makes That's the one upside to that game, I think, that this game lacks, I would say. Mr. Mr. X shows up in this game at random, like at specific intervals, like there's specific moments where he shows up. But uh, in Resident Evil 2 Remake, you never know when he's going to show up. I mean, there is some scripted events where he will show up but at the most time he's always walking around the precinct you never know when he's going to show up could be at any moment you know but um yeah other than that it was solid it, it followed the story pretty much the same uh, i didn't like sherry's mom i think they made sherry's mom um i wouldn't say more evil but more less caring i would say annette was like they made her character, they try to make her more evil, I think. I don't think Annette was ever evil. I think she just really, she just kind of, I don't know. She cared about the G-Virus, she cared about William, she cared about her daughter. But it seems like she doesn't care about her daughter in the, the remake. In the remake, she doesn't care about Sherry at all. She's just kind of like, eh, you shouldn't be here. Why are you here? Oh, okay, whatever. I'm just going to do something else and not care about my daughter. It's like, she actually cared about her daughter very much in the uh, in this game. Oh my god. <laughs> it's good to see you're still among the Like Marvin's trying to see this is the real canon story of Marvin. Looks like we're not gonna find your brother hereafter. He's okay. He just walks it off. It's just like in the remake, when you get to talk to him. Marvin's looking for his uh, no sister for or his brother. His brother Chris. <laughs> Chris Redfield is <laughs> is his brother. I like that. Right. Marvin's one last thing. <laughs> brother Here's is Chris. Take it. Very inclusive game. I like it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. But yeah, Resident Evil 2 remake. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I don't like about it. Uh, it's all pretty solid. It's a really solid. Crap. <laughs> I need that. But, uh, yeah, Resident Evil 2 Remake was really good. 
I just, I wish they had done the B scenario better because it would have been really cool. Like, say you're Leon, right? And you go, in, on B scenario, you go to the orphanage as opposed to going to Kendo's shop. And on Claire's scenario, B, you go to Kendo's shop instead of the orphanage. They should switch roles or something like that. There should be, should have been something like that. But, you know, I guess that takes longer and costs more money to do. And it's already an impressive game on its own graphically. That game was in. That Resident Evil engine is insane. The RE engine, one of the coolest engines out there. Machine gun bullets, well, don't really need that. So I'm not coming back to that for that ever. Ugh. Marvin, you're floating. <laughs> yeah, I like Mr. X because it definitely feels more uh, real. Like, it feels like Authentic. like it's like yeah it's annoying that he'll show up when you need to do like a puzzle or something like that but at the same time it, it makes sense it's like yeah you're gonna have this this guy who's chasing you around he's a menace and he's like he's he's always coming after you and the fact that you get to hear him coming towards you and like you hear his feet like through doors and stuff like that like you can hear him actually pass by you is really good it's really really well done the sound design in that game is insane they haven't done that since like the sound design has always been good in Resident Evil 2 or Resident Evil in general but like the Resident Evil 2 remake compared to Resident Evil 3 remake and Resident Evil 4 remake, sound design is probably top tier out of all of them. But uh, yeah, I thought it was really good for what it was. I knew it wasn't going to be perfect either. I knew it was going to be like, there was going to have some kind of thing I wouldn't like about it. Like I didn't, I assumed there wouldn't even be a B scenario. The fact that you even get a B scenario is kind of nice, but it was definitely like, it just felt, it felt like an afterthought. It was just put in to be like, oh, here, here's for the people who want to be scenario. The only difference is, is you get a new gun. Like, you have to use a different pistol. They force you to use a different pistol, basically, in B scenario. That's the only difference, and it's a little bit shorter. But the story is exactly the same as A scenario. It's kind of annoying, but meh. Can't ask for everything. Can't ask for a perfect game. Can't ask for a perfect game like Remake One. That's one of the best, that might be the best remake ever made. It took everything that made Resident Evil 1 good and made it better. It took everything, made it look beautiful, and then added Lisa Trevor and stuff, which just added to the story and made everything. Okay, now it's Elza Walker, all right. Wait, why did it come back? Oh yeah, Magnum's in here. Oh, shit, yeah, okay. I can't go that way because I don't have the precinct key. So I'm gonna have to unlock that one drawer and head towards the basement. I'm going to head towards the basement now. This is really weird. You need more what? Bullets? Bullets? Oh, bullets. Yeah, I definitely need more bullets. I don't get... Well, I have plenty. Now I could just use this, honestly. I could just... I have like tons of ammo for the Magnum. Could just blow everything up. Is there anything dangerous? Probably will be once I go through the... Uh, arm room who knows what's going to show up there if anything even does show up i guess there is a liquor i think there's liquor resident Evil 3 remake was just <sighs> i didn't like it. it is uh it's not very good i think it's by far the worst of the remakes but uh it was just rushed it just felt rushed everything felt rushed about it dodging system was cool you can actually dodge in the game pretty easily compared to the original. But, uh, yeah, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 3 remake. Nemesis was just kind of like a scripted event. They didn't really make him like Mr. Mr. X. He was just kind of like, here's an event with, 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 uh, Nemesis. And then they made Nemesis turn into a dog and they did all these weird things with him. And it was just, it... oh, 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 <laughs> I was not expecting that. I thought that was going to be my, uh, my friend the liquor. I was about to just shoot him. I almost just got punched to death. He would have killed me at that punch. That would have literally killed me. But um, yeah, Resident Evil 3 remake was just felt really rushed. And if you play like the hardest mode in that game, everything's like in fast forward. So like all the animations of like of uh, like Nemesis and stuff look really awkward in the harder modes because they just speed up his animations. So he just looks really like it just looks horrible. I don't know. It was. It wasn't. Eh, I'm not. I'm not a fan. Not a fan of three remake. 
I was actually kind of mad that I paid $60 for it because it only felt like it was worth like maybe $30. If it was the $30, it felt... It should have been like 30 bucks for that game. Whereas like you play Resident Evil 4, that felt like a $60 game. Like Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 4 felt like $60 games. Resident Evil 3 Remake felt like uh, it should have been like 30 bucks. At least that's how I feel. I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of 3. I really don't like that one. They took out a lot of things too from it. And they, they took out like the good things about Nemesis and made them like lame. Nemesis was really lame in the game. I don't know, there's a lot of things I don't like about the 3 remake. Okay. Well, that's it for me. That was not supposed to happen. So they're still hard to hit. <laughs> I guess you have to aim down on liquors. I wonder how many liquors are in that room because there's usually like 10 zombies in that room. So there's probably going to be like, uh, there's going to be a bunch of people in there. Well, good thing I saved. Alright, I can do better. Alright, so now I know that that one statue was ink ribbon, so I don't care about that. And we're going to get that. Alright. But yeah, and Resident Evil 4 remake was just solid. I don't know. I really like what they did with... Uh... Oh, these guys are still alive. I, I really like what they did with... Um... Oh, jeez. Can't even think of their names right now. Yeah, Leon, Ashley, Ada... Well, I can't think of his name now. I just I said it earlier in the stream. Whatever. I just kind of like what they did with the characters' backstories in that. It made it more serious, and they gave more depth to a uh, guy I'm trying to think of. I can't even think. Luis. They gave they gave more character to Luis and gave him more of a backstory. They made him, like, he's, he worked on the Nemesis Project. They, they did all these things with him that just, like, it was cool. They put, added all these new character things to him. The fact that he was born in the village, left the village, came back. It was very interesting. A lot of little interesting details in, that, uh, in the new RE4 remake. Don Quixote. He's all about Don Quixote. Which is uh, some story I, I know nothing about. Fluxus Perfect. What was it? Blue Herb, right? So I could... I don't, if I don't pick this up... I think it's too late now. Never mind. Leon. Yeah, that's the thing about it's good to see Nemesis. In the original, alive. Nemesis could literally go to different rooms it and stuff like that. Like and then... You play Resident Evil 3 Remake, and it's just that city section where you can kind of get around, but like he's he always just pops up in the same areas, and the city section is really short and small. There's no reason it's literally just like a little circle you can go around. It's really small and doesn't feel like a city. It just feels like here's an alleyway. Right. And uh, yeah, it, it definitely felt like he was a washed down Mr. X, because Mr. X on the Resident Evil 2 Remake felt more like Nemesis on the original Resident Evil 3. And so that was a... Uh, that was a big thing I didn't like about it. They, they ruined everything about Nemesis in that game. That's the whole point of the game is Nemesis, so... I don't know. Oh, eh. Eh, eh. I like what they do with Carlos. Carlos looked cool. Jill was fine. Just everything else was just... Not as good. It was all kind of crappy. Let's see, and then, okay, so. I'll unlock the key. Don't die this time. Simple. Don't get killed by my friends. That's funny that they put 1.5 zombies in this. That's another thing I've never played either, is the 1.5. I think people are still working on it to this day. I think people are still uh, <laughs> trying to make like a full game out of it. Okay, I forgot about these guys. <laughs> oh, I didn't get the key. I already. I would really need like some kind of healing item or something. <laughs> I've only gotten one green herb this whole. This isn't fair. I was like nowhere near it. Tofu's so big, I guess. Oh, and Toompy, I found out that uh, knockdown zombies can't kill you. I never knew that until today. If a if if a zombie that's on the ground grabs you, it cannot kill you. 
you can get hit as much as you want from a down zombie. And it cannot physically kill you. It can bring you down to like 1% life, but it, it can't actually kill you. Something I didn't know till today. Yeah, I like Luis too on Resident Evil 4 Remake. They did a really good job with him. Which is what was well deserved, because yeah, in the, in the original game I liked Luis, but like there wasn't much to him. He kind of just popped in and popped out. And they gave him a lot more story and depth. And then when they made, um, when they released uh, separate ways, they added more to his story even more. And like, it, he just felt much more fleshed out. And that, that was my probably the biggest thing I liked about it. It's the fact that he was just, there was more to Luis than just, he, here's a guy who has the cure. Here's a guy who has cure. Oh, he's dead now. They just, they gave him a lot more to work with and it was really, really interesting. So before I fight these guys, I'm probably just going to go in here first. Oh, but there could be something worse in here, actually. <laughs> there could be something much worse in this room. I don't care. Oh, really? Those things are tough. Takes that many magnum bolts to kill them. That's not good. Alright, I won't kill them all. They're slow enough. I just need to have enough to uh, get around them. There's probably one. Yep. There's an item right there, and I don't know what it is. It looks like an ink ribbon, but I know it's not. It sucks. Hey, flamethrower for them. Shotgun bullets. Take it. Uh, the old games are the best. Yeah. First three, honestly, are the best. Um, I'm a huge fan of... I like four. I think it's a lot of fun. Especially new remake. Remake New remake is actually really solid. The new knife mechanic and all that. It's a lot of fun to play. Did a really, really good job on Resident Evil 4 Remake. I'm actually shocked because I didn't think it'd be that good. I thought it'd be a lot worse. Very, very skeptical in that game. Wait, where? I need the operation part. I don't remember the, the number. Am I crazy? Is this not it? Oh, it's police. Okay, this is it. 2236. So it's just like the uh, PS1 game. And I found out on the N64, it's a different password. Oh good, I have like three red herbs. I've only found one green herb this whole game so far. <laughs> but good thing I have like three red herbs. There's gotta be like at least one like green herb somewhere. There's tons of green herbs in this game. Come on green herb. There's a bit, in... I don't wanna grab it yet, just in case I find a green herb. Four to five on an Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I thought it would be like two. Magnus is a lot weaker in this game than I thought. There's the cog wheel. I'm going to need that. Blue herbs. Blue herbs and red herbs. I'll just keep giving me those, but they won't give me any green herb. The office of the undead. Plant monsters. <sighs> See, I don't... Hmm. I might have to save again. Wait, I have the heart key, right? Oh yeah, I can just get rid of that now. I can grab the... Ooh, there's two items spawned behind that door. Maybe that's a green herb. But there also might be a zombie dog or something in the next room. Let's find out. This randomizer is uh, very stressful because I don't know what's going to be in this room. But if I die, I definitely will. It's been like five years since any of us were around. Okay. <laughs> Give me a Yelena. I had to go through like five liquors. Ugh. All right, I'm going to go save. How many bolts do I have? Oh, I didn't think about that. I got to get through those liquors. And I just wasted all of my ammo on some ivy monsters. <laughs> Crap. I didn't think about that. It's not good. Maybe I'll save on a different spot. Uh, 
This is a lot harder than the original game. This is a lot harder than I remember. I remember the game being a lot easier than this. Awesome, I'm back. Well, for now, I mean... This is kind of like a Frankenstein setup <laughs> with streaming. So, I do have to do some work on that. Just because... Even get, I didn't even think this would work. I didn't think I'd be able to stream. Oh, I can grab that too. I didn't think this stream would actually work, but it looks like it's working decently. I guess I don't need this because I can't even get up there yet. But I can grab that real fast. Yeah, it's been a long time, you know. Life's been going on, pandemic happened, all that. It's been suffering. I've been suffering. Oh, that's not what I need. I need this thing. There we go. What's going to come out? I'll be shocked if it's the key. If it's the key, that would be, uh... <laughs> that'd be not very random. Cool. <laughs> well, I got half the plugs. Yeah, I have. It's funny because I think there's, like... There's some, like, 13-year-olds that are in my streams that are now, like... They gotta be, like, 18 now. <laughs> think about that. <laughs> like a whole they're like completely different people now <laughs> couldn't imagine time flies when you're having fun suffering um yeah i'll save why not see if i can get through the uh or maybe i just keep going oh i could just keep going on yeah i'll just keep going i'll save and i'll keep going i won't fight those liquors yet i won't go down the the hallway yet Hopefully I can find something useful like a shotgun or something. I can actually fight those guys and maybe some healing items. That'd be nice. Find out. Should be fine. Fine for now. Yeah, I've just been kind of... A lot of things have changed in my life, so a lot of things... Uh, I've basically just been dealing with life and stuff for the while that I've been. And then just... Then it had been like a while, and it was like, okay, if I want to stream, I'm going to have to get all this stuff again. New stuff, new computer, new everything, basically. So it's just it's a lot of work to get all this stuff back up and running. And so it's like, it's going to cost me that much more money. The money I basically don't have now. I used to live with two roommates. I used to live with two people, and we shared the rent, right? Three-way? That was nice. I miss those days. Now I pay three times the rent because I'm by myself. So, you know, definitely don't have don't have the same funds that I used to so you know buying new games and all that's a lot harder for me it was actually very expensive when I was streaming back in whenever I last streamed it was a it was very expensive for me buying all those games and stuff but uh you know it was fun though because I got to play like all kinds of new games I'd never played games I was kind of interested in or people would tell me about that I was like okay I'll check it out there's also very Bad games. Goody. Well, at least these are liquors. So I wonder what's going to happen. No, I guess it's not different than... Okay. Oh, no. They're not just liquors. They're the evolved liquors. They're the ones that take like 10 shots. Okay. Yeah, those are the bad, bad ones. That's not good. Well, at least I hope there's just one. 2020 sucked? Yeah. 2019 through, well, 2019 was okay. 20, 20, yeah, the last few years haven't been very good. I think I just sat around most of the time, didn't do anything. It's pretty much been <laughs> my life. I like how I just can't find a green herb. You know, how my my life would be so much better if I could just get a green herb. That would be <laughs> so nice. Did I like Red Dead Redemption 2? Yeah, it was cool. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, it's a little too big for me. I don't know. Play it. When I play it, it's like, um... Sorry. I, just keep, I keep getting texts. It's 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 fun to play, because it's just this huge western open world and all that, and you can kind of just get in, into it and all that. I've never beaten it, but I played the crap out of it, and I, I got really far into it, and I did all kinds of stuff, but then you just kind of... I don't know, I just kind of fell out of it. But it's a, it is a very good game. I mean, that... It's. I definitely like it better than the first game. 
I liked the first game. Best thing about the first game was uh, poker. <laughs> I just sit there for like 10 hours and just play poker. Texas hold them all day. Okay, so there's two of these guys. Uh, I want to see what item is around that corner. Because there's potentially useful items right over here. I don't know if I can kill this guy without dying. I don't even know if I can kill him with three bullets. Maybe I can get around him. Oh my god. But the problem is, is if I come back in through that door, <laughs> he's going to be right there. I didn't think about that either. <laughs> Look at this red herb that's going to be a... nothing. Not a red herb. Okay. Well, I just got that. There's a save room down here. I don't know if there's any items over here for Leon. In fact, I don't even know if you can even get... Oh, this is gonna suck. Cause what if it what if it transforms and it's just like tyrant in here once I come back? Does cause when I come back it's gonna be new a uh, new like enemy right in that room. It might just be like a uh, tyrant or something. That would suck. I got a flamethrower though. I don't know how well that works because I never used the flamethrower really. Cause you get it at the end of the game. But yeah, Red Dead Redemption Two is good. It's definitely a good game. I mean, there's it's easy to get lost in the game and just play for hours on end. Kind of just do what you want. There's a lot of interesting things in it too. A lot of uh, remember, I was like just somewhere out in the middle of nowhere camping, and then all of a sudden, like these uh, guys came up and like threatened me to like get out of the, get out of their territory or whatever. I thought that was really cool. I was not expecting that. The new Resident uh, Evil, oh, like eight Resident Evil eight. It felt like. Uh, it was cool. yeah, Resident Evil 8, I have mixed feelings on. Very mixed feelings on, actually. I like it, but I also don't like Resident Evil 8. I, I've, I mean, I think you guys remember, but I don't like... What's his name from 7? Uh, the main character? Zombies. Uh, whatever his name is. Uh, see, I don't even remember his name. That's how much I don't care about him. But he's just like... He's not a well-written character. He's just There's nothing to him other than he's... Okay, yeah. Flamethrower is not very good. I don't like it. No wonder I never use this thing. I guess it's for plants. I don't think you're supposed to use it on zombies. Oh, it's already out of bullets too. Well, that's it for me. Game over, man. And now I gotta go in the next room with... It's over. At least I know I don't have to ever come down here. It's not worth it. Oh, if I get really lucky, I can kill him. Yeah, Ethan. Ethan Winters. Yeah, I never, never liked Ethan. And his character is terrible in 8. And the writing is horrible in 8. I don't like the part with the baby. Um, there's a number of things I don't like about it, but it did feel like Resident Evil 4, kind of. Like, they were setting up for it. Oh my god. <laughs> my last... One green herb so far. In this whole entire run. I've been, like... Halfway through the precinct, and I have not found any green herbs. No first aid sprays. Nothing. And I have one bullet left. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Resident Evil 8 I have mixed feelings on. It's alright. I don't like the story that much. It kind of falls apart. I really don't like the superpowers that people have. Honestly, the best part of that game is the castle. It's so interesting. That castle is so interesting and, uh, and fun. And then the rest of it is just kind of boring. The village itself is, like, pretty boring. And then the wolf creature things are kind of boring. Oh, I can't run. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I can't run. I'm limping to death. I was like, oh, I'll just run past him. Like, oh, wait, you're dying. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Resident Evil 8. Not a big fan. It's better than 7. I definitely didn't like 7. I didn't like 7 at all. I thought it was... There's too many cutscenes. Seven's just all cutscenes. It feels like it's just a... It's just being trying to be like a movie or something, and it didn't really feel like a game much. I mean, it has obviously game moments, and you're running around doing things, but it seems like the majority of seven was just kind of like tailored to be cutscenes. So here's a, here's another cutscene. I don't know if I want to go. Do I want to risk going towards these liquors? It's gonna be the longest Resident Evil run I've ever done. I can't even get through it. Look at that. There's. 
there's no way I can get past these. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come back for that. I mean, ah, man. I don't know how I'm supposed to get past that. That's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be something. Because if I attack one, the others will hear me, and they'll start attacking me too. And then as soon as you get attacked by more than one... Castle is just very interesting and a lot of fun, and it looks like Resident Evil 4, honestly. And it's not because of the women vampires that want to suck you off. It's <laughs> it's just the most visually appealing area, and it actually feels like Resident Evil like 4. <laughs> but yes, I see what you're getting at. The tall woman. Tall Dimitrescu, whatever her name is. Like, eh. I don't know. I, I don't know what... I guess it's because she's tall. I mean, that's the joke. She's huge. So she's very attractive because she's like 10 feet tall. I don't know. I never saw it. I just thought she... I don't know. Don't ask me. What do I know? This whole this whole entire randomizer can be very unfair. The fact that I can't even find another healing item is insane. I can find all the blue herbs and red herbs I want, but that doesn't mean anything. But, I don't know. Do I want to get the... Mm, no, because the flamethrower only works on the plant monsters, really. That's why I never use it. Because it's just a, like, it would have been nice to have the flamethrower back. Ooh. If I really wanted to, I'd go back to an older save. And I could grab the rock. Now that I know where the flamethrower is, I could grab that. And then, well, I'd have to get past those monsters. Doesn't matter what I do. <laughs> Doesn't matter what I do. I'm just screwed no matter what. Alright, let's go see who's going to shoot at Tofu. Let's see who's going to shoot at Tofu. Lady D. Yeah. Her and her, her daughters or whatever that want to suck you off really bad. The three daughters of sucking. They're vampires, but they're not vampires. See, that's another thing. They've introduced like all kinds of weird stuff. A guy who's like Magneto. <laughs> put a Magneto guy in there. And then they put a lady who's like a vampire, but she's not a vampire technically. Some really strange things they put in it. Magneto. It's like, it doesn't feel like Resident Evil at that point. And then they got that weird... uh. That weird guy who, uh, he's like a, I can't remember, he's just like a weird, he just pukes up acid or something? Just acid puker? Oh my god, Sherry again, you died! But wait, you're dead! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Sorry about that. When I saw the uniform, I thought you were another zombie. <laughs> I'm just imagining Sherry actually doing this. Is Sherry actually shooting a gun at Leon and having a suave voice? <laughs> I'm looking for some guy named Ben. I don't know, there's something really funny about that. Always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wreck. Yeah, Brizzy Little 8's a very weird game. It's not a bad game. There's werewolves and stuff, yeah, it's very weird. It's like just, they don't know what to do with Resident Evil anymore. And then they made, like, Chris, like, they wanted to make him, like, <sighs> mysterious. Is he really a bad guy or a good guy? It's like, it's obviously he's a good guy, but, like, they wanted to make his character mysterious, and so they just made Chris Redfield, like, a piece of shit for no reason. Even though Chris Chris Redfield is not a piece of shit at all, but, yeah, we're gonna make him, we're gonna make him edgy. <laughs> for some reason, just because we want to make it seem like, because we got nothing else going for this, why don't we make Chris seem like he's a bad guy, but he's really not. It's like... His whole motive is, oh, I didn't want to tell you about your wife being kidnapped. I'm not going to tell you anything about the thing you're like the thing you're going through right now. I just killed your wife, or so you think, and I'm not going to tell you why I did. You're just going to have to listen to me, Ethan. And I don't know. They did a lot of bad things with it. Oh, Ada, wait! Oh, I thought that was actually Mr. X, and not Ada. <laughs> I was really worried for a second there, but uh, yeah, Eight's weird. Very weird game. Okay, there's the bullets right where they okay. Cool. I can use my pistol again, but I still can't heal. Yeah, they ruined they did something weird with Chris. They made him basically ignore Ethan and then at the end of the game you find out why he ignored Ethan, because he just didn't want to tell him about his wife being evil. Not really his wife. <laughs> it's really strange. It's like it, it doesn't make guess. any sense. You must be Ben, right? Get up. Just, it's now. like not so not Chris. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep. Because the whole here. idea is 
Ethan in, has a daughter now. Is this and the guy? This chick who can t who can turn into anybody you told the city officials wants that you knew the child because the child is a mold on, monster or something. You? What did you tell them? And who it's dumb. the heck are you? That's all I know. That's why I don't really care about it. It's a dumb. His it's a dumb story. Gameplay's good. Gameplay's a lot of fun. Based in Chicago, but but he suddenly the story is horrible. Ago. The writing is horrible. Ethan's character is horrible. It's just I don't not interesting characters. Chris is written did, horribly. Why would I want to tell you? Why is everyone squeak now? Just because I'm okay, tofu, everyone squeaks when they walk. In there. Yeah, everyone's squeaking exactly. I have it right here, officer. Right here, officer. All right, Kendo. To leave this <laughs> Kendo is like Those the zombies <laughs> aren't the only things crawling around out. He's got a shotgun too. He's prepared. What was that? <laughs> like I said. I'm not leaving this cell. Kendo's not leaving his cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. You have to leave with Mr. Tofu. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. There's something Inside the awkward is about Kendo's model here. It doesn't look, lead you to looks the like the, it looks... But it won't be easy. Looks strange. All right, I'm going. Because like Ada's, Ada's looks good. Tofu is a block, so obviously he looks bad. But there's something about Kendo's model that doesn't look right. Oh, look at that! Finally, we're getting somewhere. Got a green herb. Yeah, they they literally made Chris like a douche character, and he wouldn't tell Ethan why he killed like. They know each other, like obviously they're friends, like he helped them get away from like, you know, whatever happened in 7. And uh, now Chris doesn't want to tell him what's going on, he just kills his wife and then then just expects Ethan to listen to him, like, okay. It's a great character you have there, Chris, you're a real nice guy. Killed, killed your friend's wife and didn't tell him why. And you're surprised that he's like mad at you and is like chasing after you and trying to... It's strange. It's really, really strangely written. It's the slowest run I've ever done in Resident Evil 2. Turn around. Alright, that was very scary. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually made out of this. Alright, I got the precinct key now, so now I can do some diamond doors. Maybe I can get something de decent. I was pissedly sleeping with a shotgun. <laughs> Good old Kendo and his shotgun. I never let it go. Don't you worry, girly. I'm keeping a close eye on things. Oh, his pistol knows. His pistol's inside the shotgun. They're sleeping together. Uh, okay, what do I need? I got the precinct key now. You know, I might be able to kill one of these liquors at a time. Well, how many shots does it take to kill a liquor with a magnum? I don't know. Not about to find out. Now I got the diamond key. Diamond key opens up Marvin's area. It opens ro other rooms I can't get to. Alright, let's go to Marvin's room, see what's over there. Oh yeah, I can heal too, finally. Finally I can heal! Shit, I might want to save right now, actually. Just cause I can actually heal once. It's gonna be my last save. But at least I'm not like dying. <laughs> I've been on orange caution since I got to the precinct. Now I'm solid. I'm solid like my snake. A. Remember the guy who would just never save and then just regret it? At the end of the game, I'm saving like every five seconds. I hate saving this much. What's worse is you never know when you're gonna get another ink ribbon, so I couldn't get I might not get another ink ribbon until the end of the game. <laughs> I might have to play through this like <laughs> I might have to play through this whole entire thing, like from here. Here to the rest of the game is just 
That's it. That's all my saves. That's all I get. Nothing more. Never more. Oh no. He's in like the worst spot possible. He's gonna hit me. Uh, I might have to reload this room actually. I think I can get around him. The problem is he does like this like if you go past him, he like whips you <laughs> and pushes you back over to him. Tofu? Yeah, I don't remember this mode. This is uh this is the HD remake. Remember when they remade Resident Evil 2 from 2000 like what, 19 or something like that? Yeah, this is that game. Just kidding. Yep, he does that. That's the move. But yeah, tofu. I don't know what's gonna happen this run. It's all randomized. Random NPCs show up in cutscenes. It's kind of insane. But yeah, I've um, played this once and I actually beat it very. I got a very easy seed once and it, um, it generated a very nice seed and I was able to beat it very easily. This is much harder <laughs> than my last time I played this. He does that stupid whip hit. Try to pat oh, yeah. I have a I'm take my pistol back. I don't want to waste those three bullets. Naked zombie. Oh. Hopefully there's zombies I can kill too, because there's zombies that I swear took like 20 shots. Oh, this sucks. I don't know, mm, I don't know if I can get that. Mm, nope. <laughs> All right, I kind of messed up. I'm in like, I'm gonna have to, mm, I don't want to use a, a magnum bullet on one of these zombies. That's all I got. You get a flamethrower, but that don't do shit. I know what to do. Now I get into the dark room, grab my pistol, kill those zombies, and hopefully be able to kill some of the zombies in that other room. Find out. All right. <laughs> I should have killed those guys earlier. Should have killed them earlier. Oh well. I can get like a. What's nice about the 1.5 zombies, it seems like they always get their heads blown off pretty, pretty easily. What's weird too is in this mod, there's that pistol's different. I don't remember that pistol looking like that. I don't remember the Magnum looking like that. I must have changed the pictures on it. Stuck between zombies. Yeah, exactly. But these guys always lose their heads, apparently. Shit. Sometimes it takes like two shots. Are the, so the 1.5 zombies work differently. Interesting. So in 1.5, they must have had a different mechanic for zombies where you have to shoot their heads off. And it's a random, it must be a random uh, number generator or something like that where you have a chance of getting one shot or maybe your 20th shot. I did not know that. So now you know. 1.5 zombies are different. Oh, this ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. Maybe it's just because it's on hard mode. These zombies don't die either. Okay, yeah, it's over. Jesus. It's okay, I'll find a first aid kit right here. Oh, yeah, that's right. He doesn't open that. <laughs> that's Claire who does that. Can you get... Okay, I, I guess I won't go through the door. Apparently, I was not in front of the door. Well, now I know the zombies are in there. I can re-strategize. And this is why I saved. Because I knew something like that was going to happen. Damn, that... Maybe... Because I've never played hard mode. Hard mode's only on PC or it's on specific... Like, maybe it's just specific ports. But yeah, these uh, zombies do not die. <laughs> the fact I put, like, ten bullets in that one zombie didn't fall down, it's pretty ridiculous. I'm probably going to have to use the magnum on those guys. But I'll grab the, uh, I'll grab this too. I got one key I can't use. Come back for that, I guess. God, it's like the first time I've ever had to think about playing because like when I play Resident Evil 2, I'm so used to the original game that it's like, I never have to think, I can just run through the game. It's very, very simple. Not this mode. 
never have enough. That one zombie, the 1.5 zombies are kind of annoying. Most of those I killed in like one or two shots, I swear, and then that one would not die. So I'm going to have to use my magnum on the first zombie in this room. And then hopefully I can kill another. I might have to kill two zombies in this room with my magnum. If I can. See if even headshots even work on these zombies. Sure do. I might. Shit. Nope. This ain't gonna work. Oh, why'd you. Really, dude? <laughs> Just happened to be locked onto that zombie. I probably have to go back here anyway. Okay, dude, there you go. Red herb. Wow, another red herb. No green herbs. I haven't got a single green herb. I've gotten green herb mix once, twice now. Maybe they're just harder because they're the last zombies in the game. Technically the last zombies that you find in the game. I haven't run out with like ammo in a game in a very long time, in Resident Evil in a very long time. I legitimately cannot kill these zombies. <laughs> well, I wasted all the ammo. Now I, now I have to kill them. If I even can. Uh-oh. Last bullet. <laughs> more, more bullets, more problems, I guess. Um... Oh look, a green herb. That's not a green herb. A blue herb. Again. I've gotten like five blue herbs and five red herbs, but never gotten a green herb by itself. Alright, let me go around this room first before I decide. You've got to be kidding me. This might be the worst. I got that would be like the best seed ever, but this is probably the worst seed ever. <laughs> like literally 10 of the items have been like blue herbs. It's over for me. It's over for me. I'm gonna have to redo this whole. I might as well not. I might. I might reload. I might not even have to come in here. It seems like it might have been a waste of time to even come in here. It depends on what this item is in here. I can't even kill Marvin. There's a key there. I think it's a key. But is it a key? We'll see what it actually is. Jesus. Could have swapped the music too. You can actually swap the music and make it random too. In my last seat I had a in the library it was playing the music. Okay, that's actually mm, that's kinda nice. But is it worth it? <laughs> is it worth going through all that pain and suffering? Is that item right there? No, that's just the thing in the background. Six bullets. Well now I have to go into the hall with the liquors. Okay. That's all I can. Mm. Yeah, that's all I can do. Hopefully, I can find the other. I need the uh, the club key, or not the club key. I need the. What's the first key you get? It's the. Um, so you get. I already got the diamond, and I already got the heart. I need the. Not the club. I need the spade. The spade key is what I've needed this whole entire time. I've been looking for the spade key this whole time. Oh, wrong gun. <laughs> I need that. I got an idea. This might work. Since they're gonna know I'm here. Oh. Apparently shooting a gun does not set them off. It's very interesting. Alright, this might be easier than I thought. At least no one can hear my squeaking. Is that a real green Oh my god. There are legitimately like five in here. I need that. I definitely need that. Yeah, I need a spade key. But I need that manhole cover too. <laughs> uh, I might want to just kill these guys, honestly. They're going to respawn when I come back. Well, sort of. They're going to respawn their original spots that they... Uh... I have to 
reload this. Unless I... Uh, oh, there's another one! Is there seven of them? I think there's like seven of them. Wait, how many bullets did I spend there? No, I... No, there's six. I only spent five bullets. Damn it. Alright, well... I think I know what to do now. I definitely want to get that clip so I can at least shoot my magnum a few more times. But this time I'll try to do... I'll just try to get past those zombies. Oh, if I can, without spending hang -up bullets. This is definitely the hardest Resident Evil game I've ever played. <laughs> Especially the fact that it just keeps, like, giving me green, like, blue herbs. Here's another blue herb for you. A thing you'll never need. Alright, I can do this. I think I can do this. Hopefully I can do this. Oh, you bastard. I tried, and I cried. If I, hmm, if I can get away with spending like, hopefully I can just spend two bullets with my magnum, get past the last zombie. Should have killed them. If I come back, I'll shoot them. I don't know if I will. Who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? I don't even know what's gonna happen. That's what I wanted. So what? Oh yeah, magnum bolts are on Marvin, so we can get that. That's a red. Is this red herb? What is this? Some stupid. It's a blue herb. They're both blue herbs. That's right. Two blue herbs, if I remember right. Yep. Nor Marvin. Grab the bullets. Take all my friends. It's so hard to dodge Marvin right there. It's very easy to get grabbed by Marvin right there. If you're not ready for it. That'd be funny if it was like random. Well, I bet if you come back in this room, he turns into something else. Guarantee he does. There we go. It's a little bit better. A lot more ammo. Now I should be able to do it. Should be able to get through this. It depends on what's in that next room, though. It's another thing. <laughs> what's in the next? What's in the room after that? It's, I'm, I'm afraid of every room now. Especially with only having this much ammo. Apparently, uh, a clip, a clip, a full clip cannot kill a zombie in hard mode. Maybe I should have put this on normal. I didn't realize how, how how much stronger the zombies were in hard mode. Did the same thing I did last time. Okay, so if they have the tension, I might be able to just shoot these guys one by one. As long as they don't shoot again. If you shoot one... Oh, I forgot to reload. Whoops. <laughs> so funny. Their animation. <laughs> Six liquors in one... That is... That is... Sadistic. This is sadistic. Uh, the other drawer was not locked with the film. It was a it was a blue herb in there. There's literally three items in a row were blue herbs. Or was it red herb? It might have been a red herb. It was like something useless. It was a, either a red herb or a blue herb. That's the only reason why I didn't grab it. And so, yeah. And then the, uh, the one drawer that Claire goes into, only Claire can open that one with a lockpick. So you can't open that as Leon. Oh boy. At least it's zombies. Could be worse. Could have been more liquors. Problem is I can't kill them. 
Yeah, that's a that's a big problem. This zombie is literally. I have to use a knife. That's not. He's still alive. <laughs> I don't think I can kill this zombie with 13 bullets. Spawn this room. So I don't have to kill that guy. Right? Yeah, it was a uh, red herb, blue herb, blue herb. I've only gotten, I've only found, I found two green mixed herbs. It was a green and a blue at the beginning of the game, and then that one I found just recently. It's only been two green herbs so far I've found. Never, I haven't found any first aid. He's useless now. I wonder if it's going to pop. Well, I guess it's going to be a liquor that pops through that, that wall. But if you come back into that room, I bet it changes. Ooh. Oh, it's... I thought it actually was a first aid spray for a second, but it's going to turn into something else. <laughs> I was like, I was actually like really happy for a second. And then I forgot. I forgot that this is a... Uh... I don't have to kill this guy, man. <sighs> That's annoying. Let's see if I can get past him. Should be able to get past them, but or not. Shit. Oh goody! Look at red herb. That's what I've been looking for. <laughs> All I had to do is get their six liquors to get it. I thought I could get past that zombie, and that zombie's gonna bite me again. I guarantee it. Ink ribbon. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna want that. Especially now. At least I got two ink ribbons. That means I can save two more times at least in this game. It's good. But yeah, very bad luck with healing items. This is probably... Yeah, that's what I was worried about. His spawn point. Alright, we can go in here and grab these items. Get out and never come back. Let's see what they are. Can we get a first aid spray? Well, there's... there's Plug number three. One more to, oh, the other plug is... Oh, no, that's not the real plug. The other plug's over there, it looked like. One more to go. This game hates me. This game legitimately hates me. I don't know if I wanna, I'm not going to grab it because I already have, like, two. They love giving me those red herbs, but they won't give me a green herb. <laughs> It's useless to have red herbs if you can't find any green herbs. Alright, should be good now. Oh, I gotta get through this room again. I think there's three liquors left. Three, two or three. Yeah, it changes. The picture, ch it, it shows the original item, but it doesn't show you the actual randomized item. Alright. I never have to deal with these guys ever again. Um, Alright, yeah, let's go save. I'm going to save again. <laughs> right? It's just all red herbs. Red and blue herbs. Very useless to me. Incredibly useless. But now, I can go up to uh, the top area. Up to the library. Who knows what we'll get up there. Maybe I'll actually get a green herb up there. Who knows? I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen. So far, this has been the hardest game of Resident Evil I've ever played. <laughs> the very beginning was, like, already, like, horrible with the three liquors at the very beginning of the alley. That's one of the, like, hardest things I've ever had to deal with. There's so many liquors in this run. What's funny is William Birkin can randomly spawn if there is any of these enemies. So far, he hasn't spawned at all. William Birkin can show up anytime. Just like Mr. X can. Oh, I might get hit right here again. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Bozo. Oh, I can go in there. That's right. I can go in here, too. Oh, I should have put things away. I forgot I can go in here. Oh, I should have done the manhole, too. Oh, man. I'm going to do this first before I go back down the manhole. It's nothing. I know there's usually ink ribbon around here. There's nothing here? Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to grab this last item though. I might have to come back through here. I forgot about this room. I gotta go in here. Watch it be a, a full heal. There's two items here. Wait, 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 wait. Two items here. So even the items can be placed randomly. Because there's never an item there. Shotgun bolts and shotgun bolts. If only I had a shotgun. I have like 50 bullets for my shotgun. All right, well, I'll have to come back here when I get a shotgun. But that's that's good to know. Nice dodge, barely. When I come out of this room, he's going to be right next to me. He's going to hit me. Watch this. <laughs> it's bull crap. I knew that was going to happen, too. Oh, that is not fair. Oh, that's... Alright, well, maybe I will never go back into that room unless I can kill. Well, I guess I, if I get enough bullets, I could take him out and then potentially pick up some bolts from him or whatever he drops. Who knows what he's gonna drop? Oh, I might have to take him out, actually. But at least I have three. Oh, I didn't save either, did I? Did I save? Oh, I did save. Now I'm not too worried about these guys, hopefully. Let's see. These 1.5 zombies are faster too, or maybe all the zombies are faster. Die, man. Really? Am I really gonna get bit by the zombie? You are kidding me! That was like... Legitimately like all my ammo into this guy. I'm gonna have to reload this game. Still, I bet he's still alive, actually. He is still alive. Look at his arm, exp his arm turned to a chest. <laughs> Alright, that killed him. Apparently, I don't always get their head shot off, but... <sighs> oh! This is true zombie survival horror, apparently. Hasn't been zombie. It hasn't been horror survival for a long time for me. Well, this has been a pretty bad run so far. But let's go check and see what's upstairs. You know what? Might as well keep um, a red herb on me just in case. I probably won't run into anything, but who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and actually run into a green herb or a first aid spray. We'll see what happens. I have. Wait, what's upstairs? Tyrant upstairs? Or is there anything upstairs? That's another thing. I don't remember what's upstairs. Is it just zombies upstairs? See, I don't remember. And then we don't know what's in the li well, we don't know what's in the hallway past the library. And we don't know what's in the room. Uh, after the precinct key. There's nothing in here. That's nice. I think last time I played it on a seat, it was uh, Mr. X in here. And that was a... I think that was a... I think that was an ink ribbon. I think. Can't remember. It was something useless. It might have been a blue herb again. It's gonna be it for me. There's no way I can get past this last zombie. <laughs> Not in danger. If it wasn't in danger, if I was on caution, maybe. Just too slow. It's like when you're in danger, you cannot dodge anything. But okay, so now I know. Mr. X room has shotgun bullets, so I can just ignore that. I can literally just run to the uh, stairs, potentially. If I do that, uh, yeah. I don't know if I want to though, because I have to run past that other zombie. And who knows actually what's going to be in this room now that Marvin's alive. That might turn into something completely different. Let's find out. Let's find out and see what happened to him. Tasty tofu. Yeah, I've died like, several times. Alright. Is Marvin still here? Marvin's still a zombie? Yeah, okay. So Mar Marvin doesn't change. That's nice. Cause yeah, usually the, the monsters change. If it's a stand, if it's a special thing. Just a matter of getting past this. This is this is what's not fair right here. 
I got an idea though. Oops. So you know that guy will die in. It is random. Well, that's kind of nice, actually. <laughs> kind of. No, it's not nice. This other zombie, though. Ugh. Ugh, this sucks. Oh, that's that's very lucky. <laughs> oh my god. It's incredibly. I did not expect that to happen. All right. They should be uninterested, actually. Yeah. The vegan zombies. Maybe Tofu's made of just pure brain. Maybe Tofu is just pure brain. You ever tried uh, pure brain before? I haven't. Never tried in my life. Sounds delectable. Sounds awful. O-F-F-A-L. Not A-W-F-L-U or F-U-L. Wow, it sure is easy to dodge zombies when you can't actually move. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, you're kidding me! There's probably like five in this room. I don't think I can beat this. There's at least, I think there's like five zombies right there. And they're all these super... can't beat this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how I legitimately don't th I can't beat this. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's Resident Evil 2. Two green herbs in the whole entire game so far. Two green herbs. And literally like a hundred liquors. <laughs> this is my new, this is like an actual nightmare. Cause there's an item in there too that might be important, which means there's two items in that room. There are legitimately two, there's two items in that room that could potentially be useful. I guess I can find out, I could try to find out what they are. And then, you know, die. Because there's one at the end of the hall and there's one inside the, uh, right before the library. But I don't, I don't, it's clearly a skill issue. Yeah, exactly. Well, maybe I just want to be licked. Maybe I just like it like that. Why do you think I put so many liquors in this game? the way I like it. This is what sucks too. Is you never know when the zombie's gonna lose his head or not, if it even loses it. God, I thought I was doing good again. I might have to go back down the manhole cover just to find something. It's over, man. I'm not used to these controls either. These controls are backwards because it's the Japanese version. Of controls B is B is your run. More liquors. That, it's like you know, it would be. I, I think it'd be possible if it was the regular liquors, but it's not. It's the enhanced liquors, which take two shots from the Magnum. Regular liquors take one. This room has. This room is like one of the smallest rooms in the game, and there's at least four liquors in that room and not just regular liquors so it's it's yeah it's over <laughs> it's over i don't think i can i don't think i can get through this room i don't think it's possible to get through this room if it is possible it's i'll barely make it i like how this one just walks towards me so it's like i have a time limit to even try I just want to see this. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, yeah, this this runs over. I, I, 
So I legitimately have to get this item and then get through those guys. There's gonna be four liquors in this hallway. I've got two bullets. No healing. On caution. It's over. <laughs> like, I can't even think of something that would be able to help me here. Like, unless I somehow found the red card. And then somehow there happened to be a ton of magnum ammo and at least one green first aid. Yeah, I don't think I can do this. We know where the club key is now, and the club key is literally in a spot where you won't be able to... Oh, man. So I have to kill those things. Because you can't run past them once you go down that hall. It's over once you go down that hall. So I have to kill... Unless I kill them one at a time, I have to get a bunch of bullets. Or at least a shotgun. If I get the shotgun... Potentially I could... Get through that. Even then, I don't know. Just another option I can do is go down this way, do the manhole cover, see what's over there, do the Ada thing. See what she gives me. Hopefully she can give me the red key card. Yeah, my friend's down here. Liquor's down here, liquor's upstairs, liquor's every- okay. See, I like it when there's only like one liquor in my way and not five. Because I can actually get around that. I actually deal with one liquor. I'm okay with that. I mean, I can deal with a bunch of liquors if I had the bullets. The problem is they don't give you shift bullets. When they do, it's always for a gun that you don't have. Or they just don't give you any healing items. I wonder what monsters are going to be in here. Alright, new room. I have no idea what's in here. Oh, okay. Did I just get hit? Oh, no, 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 that was the animation. Because the dog's supposed to jump at the thing there. There's crows in here. I mean... Fine. Five percent bullets. Uh oh. Is there anything in these? I don't think I've ever searched these cages. I don't know if there's anything in them. There is. You're kidding me. Well, there it is. <laughs> cool. Well, that's good to know. Too bad I can't pick it up. Well, now I can. All right. I like how the crows broke out of the, their bird cages. The birds broke out of their bird cages. It's not big bird cages. Oh, what's down here though? Oh shit. Guess we'll find out. All right, <sighs> flamethrower. Let's go get the flamethrower now. Oh god. Should they go past that one liquor? All right, we'll go get the flamethrower. Jesus. Plant monster's down there, and there's only one, because there's only one spider down there. I think there's only one spider down there, so that means there's only one plant monster. I'm not gonna waste all my ammo to get past him. Flamethrower should work. Problem is I have too many items now. Uh, shit, all right. I could go down to the basement and then go to that save room, but I'm not going to do that because then I'll have to fight zombies coming back and we're not doing that. It's bad news. Alright. I can do this. I can pass him. The one thing, the one upside to the liquors is they can't see me. So we can handle that. Save room. I guess I can keep the full heal on me. 
hopefully I find some decent stuff. Well, hopefully I find that red card. That security card would be nice. Because there's a bunch of items in that room with the guns. Who knows what's in there? Anything could be in there. I didn't think this would take this long. I thought I'd run right through this. <laughs> but yeah, I guess, I mean, it's not a big deal. I might have to come back to this though. I do want to go to the gym and stuff and do some other things. I thought I'd get this, I thought this would be like as easy as like <laughs> the original game would be done in like an hour or two. I don't need that yet. If I want to get more shotgun bullets, I can get that. I literally know this is going to help me. I guess I don't need that key either. Well, hold on to it anyways. I probably should have picked up more of those red herbs. Because I think I'm down to my last red herb now. But I've seen a bunch. Two or three. I know the club key is now. I wonder if I can, hmm. If I can find that fourth plug without using the club key, that, oh yeah, I forgot. If I can find that fourth club, or that fourth plug. Without having to get the club key, that'd be nice. But then again, I'd miss a bunch of stuff too. Potentially useful items. Like ammo. <laughs> But if I can't, I can't even get to it, that's the problem. Get the flamethrower. Shit. I don't know if I want to use the last two bullets. I might have to use the last two bullets on a slicker. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Kill him. If I... God, I, hopefully I can. Oh, I missed. God. <laughs> oh. Well, that's good. Oh, maybe I can still get past him. So I think there might be an item right where he's standing. Right where he spawns, I think there's an item. Like right here somewhere. If I remember right there's... Maybe not on Leon A. I might be on B scenario. Oh. <laughs> Shouldn't have wasted those two bullets. But that's okay. Now I can burn that plant monster and uh, hopefully get something decent. When I help Ada. Or Ada helps me, I should say. I haven't even gone up to the area with the helicopter yet. Can't get there. Let's see. Go this way down the ladder. Let me find Thor, kill the one plant monster down here. Put it away. I think I have all those blue herbs. Oh, there's more than one. There's more than one. I could have sworn. Well, I guess it doesn't. I guess it is random then. I just assumed it replaced monsters. Didn't add monsters too. Because usually I think there's only one spider in that sewer. Oh, goody. More, maybe she'll give me the shotgun. Maybe it'll actually give me something useful. I'll use this now. Every time I get a heal, I gotta use it. Ada hate. Oh, I can just put those three plugs in now, too, actually. The three I found so far. Plugs. Plug 
longer in. I'm actually surprised that this run hasn't broken. I would assume this would be good. Oh, I thought I had three. Or did I never pick up... Maybe I never picked up the third one. That's not good. I might have to go back to the rooms I've already been to. Because I could have sworn I found three. And maybe I didn't save and I died and never picked it up again. Oh well. Too bad. As Ada would say. Too bad. Or maybe that was a different run. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't even know what I'm doing. What character is it? It was an Ada was with me? Oh, that's oh yeah, it's true. It's Ada, apparently. But I'm Chris? I don't think I've introduced myself. Yet. Oh, because I switched My to Ada. I'm Ada now. I'm with the RPD. I got it. I got it now. I was like, wait, I was confused, but it's like technically I'm in control of Ada right now because this is yeah, this is where you control Ada. So it's Chris instead of Leon. You think we can get upstairs through this? Technically, shaft? Leon's the NPC. Give me a boost. I'll go and check. Which means when we come back with Ada, it's, it's going to be someone else. Chris Redfield. Made in heaven. He's got the green one on. Must be battle mode, Chris. Which I never really played. I played a little bit of that. Battle mode. In Resident Evil 2. Play battle mode. There's no zombies here. Oh. <laughs> There's hands in the ground, though. Ground hands. That's my favorite, my favorite enemy. I hate when zombie arms come out of the, come out of the uh, ground. That's actually shotgun. Okay, so maybe this isn't random. Oh, I really wish I had that on Leon. That's the most sacred item of this run. I haven't s never seen a first aid in this one yet. She just gets one. Must be nice. I'm just worried I'm gonna run into another hand now. I don't know. It's so funny. Like if you're playing as Tofu, you just the rest of the game. Everyone just has squeaky feet. Look at the resolution on those boxes. <laughs> They're like the boxes from like Resident Evil One remake or something. I'm too clean. I've never seen such a beautiful box. Jill, your box is beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I guess Jill would have the most beautiful box. Hmm. Can make a sandwich with those boxes. <laughs> Wonder what this item's gonna roll. Maybe no, because I already found the club key. The club key was uh, where those liquors are. Which means I'm screwed. Really? Uh, gee, it'd be nice if I had a machine gun. Like the ground hands? I think there's probably another one somewhere, because I think there's usually... Okay. <laughs> oh, there's one. Got me. <laughs> Hand grabbed Ada on the leg. <laughs> Shook her. I hate when zombies do that. Leon, can you hear me? Tim. What's up, Tim? Ada. Did you find anything? You taught me how to play Resident Evil 2, that's true. Right here. I made you play Resident Evil 2. You regretted it. Think fast. Here's one more. This isn't just any Resident Evil 2. This is Resident Evil 2, uh Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find the another insane version, apparently. I can't beat this. This is impossible. What? Ada, wait! Ada. It completely changed again, so I picked up... Okay, now it's fuel. Oh, goody. Great. This is the worst. So, great, now I have a flamethrower with more ammo in it. Fantastic. It's literally... Oh, I forgot about this item. What is this? There's the number three. Cool. One more to go. I almost missed that. I almost missed one of the plugs. 
the most important things in the game. Tim, you can play this version. This version is much less scary. You can play randomizer like I am, where literally I don't know what is what, and everything's completely different, and you're just screwed. I got like the worst run possible. There's been no healing items, and like one of the hardest enemies in the game is in this everywhere. In every room, there's a it's like the worst enemy possible. But at least I can burn. Mm, do those? Mm, does the flamethrower work on those liquors very well? I'm gonna assume no. Let's find out. Cause I got a bunch of fuel for it. The shitty flamethrower. Save too, just in case. Oh yeah, forgot. I need ink ribbon. Do that. Save it. Oops, I made a new save. Oh, that's okay. So I got a hard drive. The nice thing about the uh, PC version is you got a hard drive. You don't have the stupid PS1 memory cards, which are like 16 kilobytes or some shit. Save once on your memory card, then you have to have another memory card. I don't think those are technically. Mm, I mean, they're evolved liquors, but. Are they technically plant lick? I don't know. Are they plant liquors? Because they only show up in the laboratory. I don't know. I think the model in the N64 version is different for the evolved one. I think it's just a black liquor. This one, they actually have like weird wings or something. All right, so now I can go back up. One more, one more key to go. I know where the club key is, but I can't get it. Or can I? I guess we'll find out. I don't think the flamethrower is going to do very much to the liquor, but I'm going to attempt it. I'm going to see what it does. See if it even works on the liquor. It's probably not. It's something. I guess this is a nice thing about the randomizer is you never know. You kind of figure out more than you would know on the original game because this is something you never do or even try to attempt. You wouldn't need to. Did I kill one? Or did they change? The liquor's changed. They changed positions. <gasps> what is that? Oof. Thought that was something different. Oh, that sucks. That's that sucks. <laughs> that legitimately sucks. Well, this is like an attempt of a stream. I haven't really... I don't know. I do want to stream again, but I don't have the uh, setup. This is technically on my... My computer's doing all this. I guess OBS is technically doing it. So OBS is lit literally just using my screen to capture. Which I don't know how that would affect... Like if I had ran like, I don't know, Cyberpunk or something like that. I don't know if it would work. It, maybe it would. I haven't attempted it. But uh, I would definitely have to probably bring down the settings of that game. I don't think I could play that game like I usually do. So I usually play that game in like ultra settings, 4K. I have to dump, dumb it down, I guess. Oh, I guess, yeah, I could bring it down to 1080. It wouldn't matter because it's not like you guys can even see past 1080. I'm streaming at 1080, so playing in 4K isn't really worth it. Let's see. Um... But yeah, it's cool. It's cool that people came out to see this. <laughs> it's been, what, five years? Pre-pandemic. Pandemic. I mean, last time I streamed, I was still living with you, Tim. We're still around, bro. We're all still up here. Now I'm on my own, struggling to survive. Could get more shotgun bullets. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to have to get past those liquors, I guess. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but... Yeah, going down there didn't help me at all. <laughs> Did not give me any any further. Or give me any bullets. Give me one healing item. One green herb. Ugh, I'm going to end this soon anyways. I've been sitting here way too long. I need to move. Can't play games like I used to. 
do eight hour streams. Ugh. Can't do it anymore. I'm too old for it. Oh my god. It's funny, I turned on one of my older streams, and uh, apparently, Tim, you, uh, during the stream, I think you would, like, hit your, you hit, I think you were boxing with someone in your room or something like that, and you would, uh, actually hit heads. And you are like, screaming or something like that about it. Same, I'm in a worse position than I was. <laughs> but yeah, I remember. I can't remember what game it was. I didn't. Something. I just happened to turn it on for whatever reason. I was trying to get ideas for like what I should do next. I'm just for like a video or something. <laughs> it's just like it's like what? I don't even remember that. It's, a, it's weird. Like when you watch yourself play games and you know things that you don't know anymore. Like it's. I was watching my Streets of Rage 2 video, and I was talking about like these things I did not know I knew, <laughs> which is really weird. It's weird that I lost that information. I was like talking about like special, special like. Uh... Oh, I didn't grab the key. But I was talking about like special. Uh like characters you can fight in that game. I had no idea about that. I totally forgot that was a thing. I was like, yeah, if you if you fight certain characters or whatever, you get um you get ten thousand points for fighting the the special characters or whatever. I was like, I didn't know that. The hell did I know that? The things that came out were in my brain at one point and now they're just gone. <laughs> I think there's a game that I saw in there I didn't even realize I played. I played a game called Zombie Revenger. I remember having that game. I did not know I'd stream that game. I don't know why I streamed that game. The game is Resident Evil 2. something. Something else. But yeah, that was one of my last streams. I was like, when did I stream this? Didn't even remember that either. I was like, when did I stream <laughs> this piece of shit? So the flamethrower is worthless. Glad I have it. Magnum's out of bullets. Glad I'm out of bullets. But yeah, I'm gonna attempt this one more time and then I'm probably just gonna call it. I don't think I can beat this. I don't think I can do it. But we'll try to get through it. I'll try to get through it one more time. I kinda like the randomizer though. It's, I mean, unless it's like this where it's extremely difficult. This is like beyond difficult. I mean, you get lucky here sometimes where there's crows in the room, but most of the time it's just. This one's been like liquors in like almost every room. Since the beginning of the game, it's like every other room has had a liquor in it. Yeah, I, I, it's funny because I was looking at the spade key when I looked at the um, the item box. And then I, I looked at it and I was like, do I need that? And I was thinking to myself, I was like, nah, I don't need that. I was like, yeah, you do. <laughs> Haven't even used it yet. So yeah, I'll grab it when I go up to the... Uh, I'll grab it when I go up to the main room. And then I'll try it one more time. So it's okay if there's one of them. It's very easy to get past one of them because they can't see you. Getting through a small room with tiny hallways with like five of them? No. Just no. What was this? I keep forgetting what this is. Oh yeah, important item. That's what it is. Cool. Potentially important item. It could be literally nothing in that that statue. All the streaming and stuff, yeah. Streaming all that stuff. It's been, I mean, it's been five years since I last streamed. So, I mean, the fact that it's been five years since I last streamed is kind of insane thinking about that. Like, five years is a long time. A lot has changed in five years. Sucks though, I can't get my Elgato to work on my computer now. <laughs> I tried using my Elgato to uh, record some things, and uh, yeah, that does not work. My computer crashed instantly when I tried to do that. <laughs> as, soon as, I, as soon as I put that thing in, try to record, just pfft. computer crash. So, yeah, that ain't gonna work. 
So now if I want to get another one, I have to spend over a hundred dollars just for like the worst one. If I want a decent one, probably two hundred something. If I want a decent recording device. Especially if I want to do like 4K stuff, which I don't even know if I could handle. Because that, that would take a lot more internet power, I would assume. Yeah, I'll try I'll try it again. Uh, maybe I'll try a different different maybe I'll try Claire A. I got really lucky the first time I randomized this. It was actually pretty easy. I had a really, really easy run the first time I played it. I did a Claire A scenario and I ran right through it. And I actually I thought it was easier than the main game actually, because I think it gave me like all kinds of ammos. And like it gave me like guns where they when I needed them. It was like, oh here's a grenade launcher. Oh here's you have like everything in the beginning of the game. And then I think I was just able to just destroy this. It wasn't very... God, this... This room. It's my lucky day so far. Wow, it was a real lucky day for me. In fact, I was able to shoot both their heads off. That's incredibly lucky. But yeah, I kind of like this. It's very interesting to see the cutscenes with like just random NPCs in the cutscenes. Just Sherry holding a gun at you or getting eaten by zombies. A little girl gets eaten. It's kind of insane. It kind of makes it refreshing too, because like I've played and beaten Resident Evil 2 so many times that it's running through is so easy. I mean, I also still like playing the original game. All right, hardest room in the game. I think, well, no, because the club key's in here. The club key is in this room, which sucks. Open it. Really? This 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 run legitimately hates me. Legitimately, I think I found like ten blue herbs. Ugh, I was trying not to get hit by that. I knew it was coming. I heard it. That's bad. That's that's a that's a big danger hit. I'm sure. I think it's the best part is the NPCs being randomized. I think you can randomize like what they say too. Maybe not. I think there's an option for something. Or, okay, come on, first aid spray. See, I didn't when I first played this. I, this never happened. I didn't get literally 100 fuel canisters for a flamethrower that doesn't do anything. Oh, here's a here's a fuel canister which is worthless. Thanks. And we'll give you two green for, uh, green aids, green herbs. We'll give you two green herbs throughout the whole entire precinct. Zero first aid sprays, and ten green ten blue herbs. And that's it. Well, I did put on hard mode. I guess that would make it hard mode. This is this is harder than real survival mode on uh, Resident Evil 1 Remake. <laughs> that game gives you like no healing items. I thought that was hard. There ain't nothing on this. Oh my god, watch it. This is gonna be, there's gonna be, there's gonna be liquors out here. <laughs> it's gonna be liquors. It's gonna be, if it's zombies, I'm screwed either way. It doesn't matter what's up, it's liquors. Of course it is. There he is. Why would it be anything else? At least give me Mr. X or something. Actually, that'd probably be worse. I wouldn't be able to get around Mr. X. I can actually get around this guy. Do I want to put that on? Mm, I'll come back to that later. Maybe. Maybe. But I've, this is the first time I've gotten over here, so that's that's something. I might, might, might have to save just because I got through that room. But it really doesn't matter because uh, there's a very important item in that room with the Lakers. Oh. That's incredibly helpful. Wow. Take it. <laughs> My god. This is like. You hate yourself mode. Like. Have fun. Blue herb mode. I'm on blue herb mode. Remember how, like, on the N64 version, you couldn't actually find any blue herbs? This is the opposite. All you find is blue herbs. Fuck. 
Fuck it, I'll save. I, I had to take the blue herb <laughs> to save. <laughs> So yeah, two green herbs, I think about four red herbs, and probably about 12 blue herbs I've found so far. Alright, got past the room, but I might need that club key, because who knows where that fourth uh, plug is. Probably in one of the rooms with the club key. Oh, oh yeah, I remember the cog was out... Oh, I, haven't... I forgot it. Wait. I forgot, I have the, uh, I have an important item I need to grab. If I can just get, like, a couple first aids and the shotgun. The shotgun would be nice. It would be nice if I could find a shotgun, but I know the shotgun's probably in one of the club key rooms, which means I ain't never getting that. I won't be able to get that. <laughs> I can just find one green herb, I'd be happy. Which you know, now now I need more red herbs if I forget green herbs. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I can constantly save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a hundred years since we've uh, streamed. We're all new people now, too. We're all different. Five years, you change a lot in five years. Well, I guess it depends how old you are. You learn a lot of life lessons in five years, I think. Things change. All right, so that gets me into that room, but I don't have the second gem, which could be anywhere. I don't think I found the second one yet. The first one. It's only on scenario B, I guess. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is this is definitely like your dead mode. At least you can walk. Might be able to make it past these guys without even being noticed. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised there's liquors out here. It's funny for a randomized mode, it seems like it, all it did was just turn all the zombies into liquors. <laughs> if there's a room with zombies in it, it just uh, they're liquors now. You have Mr. X, you have plant monsters, you have spiders, you have crows, you... Yeah, this is like probably legitimately the worst seed. <laughs> I thought it was cool that it was tofu. But it ain't so cool when everything is a blue herb. Uh, two blue herbs in this room. Why did I open this door? Why did I open this door? I'm just flabbergasted by this. By like, just blue herbs. Blue herbs and liquors. This is the blue herb and liquor run, I guess. Blue Herb and Liquor Challenge, that's what I'm call this one. This is insane. This isn't even like... This isn't fun. <laughs> but the nice thing about this, it's a wide open space. That is the only nice thing about these liquors, is the fact I can actually get around them. Most of the time they're just in a small compact area where you can't get around them. Oh, man. I can't wait to see what's in this hallway now. Now that the monsters are probably going to respawn and something new. It's probably all liquors. No longer crows. Find out. No, there's still crows. That's good. But is that tentacle monster still there? I'm going to that for now. I'm going to go that way anyways, I think. I don't think... I think this might be it. I don't know if I can go any further. I have six bullets and a magnum to take out like four. Okay, four uh, liquors. That's all I got. We'll see what's in the room. There's potentially three items in here I can get that might be decent. I might have a shotgun in here. 
One can hope. I thought there was... Isn't there... I swear there's a... Uh, yeah. Okay, that's kind of useful. If only I had grabbed that other red herb that I just totally skipped because I was like, I don't need any more red herbs. I don't need more red herbs. Oh. Speaking of red herbs. There we go. Ain't so bad. Do that, do that. Am I an orange co I'm in... Yeah, I'm an orange caution. It's funny, every single time I'm able to heal, I'm already, like, pretty much dead. <sighs> yeah, this is it, folks. I don't know if I can... I don't know how I'm going to get that club key, because I need that club key now. That's the only thing I can do now, is grab that club key. And I don't know how I can escape those liquors to get that club key, because that club key is literally in the worst spot possible. But I can save, I guess. That's something. <laughs> it's like inching. I'm inching forward. Slowly but surely, I'm inching forward in this game. Do you like the blue herbs? The trippin'? Squeaky tofu. It's funny because everybody, for some reason, if you're tofu, everybody in the game has squeaky feet. But yeah, it's <laughs> tripping out. Leon's tripping out. That's why he sees like little girls shooting guns and stuff with men's voices. All right, what can I do? What can I do? I can't do shh. Bit. All right, I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to take one. I haven't found the crank yet. I know where the cog is. I didn't pick it up, but I know where it is. Yeah, there's a random vine trying to spank me on the floor of the, uh, in the uh, helicopter hallway. And my friend's here. <laughs> I can make this liquor turn around and possibly get him. Do I want to take the... No, I don't want to take the long way. We're supposed to turn around, dude. Oh, well. But, yeah. Uh, that was that was the one nice thing about that room is you had a little tiny vine trying to kill me. And that's it. So, you know. It's not so bad. Was this a blue herb, right? <laughs> Some worthless... Oh, that's right. It's fuel. Worthless fuel. This might be the worst way to go, actually. I don't... Two, four, six. I can kill. No, definitely. Not. Well, it's this randomizer specifically. But I can cheat, sort of, sort of, if I'm fast enough. I can kill one at a time to potentially get me through this room. If I can kill, it takes two shots to kill those guys, the evolved liquors. So if I kill one at a time, reset them. I feel like it's, uh, maybe get through this. Problem is, is there's like five of them. Oh, he's still alive. Uh-oh. Alright, I'm just gonna have to go for it now. That's it. That's all I got, pretty much. I don't think I... Yep, that's it. <laughs> you get no bullets for your handgun in this mode. You get blue herbs everywhere. Liquors everywhere. In the worst places possible, too. Look, there's a liquor down there. Where I need to go. They're both going down there. Even better. I'm trying to get them. Yeah. That did not work. Damn it. Oh, this is legitimately... <laughs> the hardest thing ever done in Resident Evil. Oh, man. This is like some Kaizo shit. This is the point where you just, like... Can't do it. What is that? Is that cool soda? I want some cool soda. It looks just like Coke. It's funny. I can't, 
I, I can't even get down there. Or can I? Maybe if they keep going down there, I can get close enough to pick up the key and then turn around and walk away. <laughs> Does this actually work out for me? Nope. Now they're walking into each other. I can't get past them, so... Can't hurt them. Can't get past them. They're walking into each other. If the one in the back will turn around, I might be able to get the key. But he's pushing the other guy back towards us. Oh, this might just be a waiting thing. If the other one would just turn around, that'd be nice. I wonder if I do that. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> Turn around. Turn around. Do something different. <laughs> well, at least the one's pushing this guy back towards her, so maybe if, if I wait long enough, <laughs> he'll push him back out to this hall, I can just go down there and grab it. That's another thing about this mode. Uh, the, this key conveniently is in the worst spot possible with the worst enemies possible. <laughs> well, maybe not the worst enemies possible, but pretty close. Lickers are faster than you. They can kill you pretty fast too. They're strong. Like if Mr. X was in here, it wouldn't be so bad. Eh, sort of. I guess it depends on how much ammo you have. If you went down that hallway, I don't know. But having two Lickers down here. They're just pushing each other. <laughs> Damn. I can't believe one of the most important items in the game is literally down there in that hall. In the most inconvenient spot possible. <laughs> just imagine if the other two liquors are still in here. I might have to reset just to kill different liquors, but I can't. Alright, I got another idea. Since that's going nowhere. That's literally doing nothing for me. There we go. Okay, they heard me. This is probably the stupidest thing I've done in Resident Evil. <laughs> this actually might work out. As long as they don't turn around and go back in that hallway. And just keep walking into each other. I might be able to do this. There it is. Alright, I just need to get out of this death hall. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> That's it. That's all it takes. I legitimately did not think I could actually do that. I thought it was over. I thought the game was over. Once I found that item down there, I was like, oh, this game's over. There's no way I can get that key and survive this. All right, so club key opens up a couple of doors. Potentially finding the last few items that I need. Oh! Got that. That's a, I might want to save again, honestly. After that, probably want to save again. I'm still fine, which is nice. And I have to go past those other liquors, too. Again. Yeah. Don't worry, there's more liquors where that came from. It's just the beginning. We got three more in here. I can get past these three now. And then get past them again. Alright, I can get past them. Oh, okay, I just have to do that one more time. 
Hopefully there's something really useful, like a shotgun or something, in this uh, room over here. Because if there isn't... That would stink. This guy stinks! Uh, oh, I have the lighter. I was about to say, don't I need, I need the lighter. I was thinking about that. I was like, wait, I don't have the lighter. So I'm Leon. Not Claire. I do have the lighter. So there's usually some right here. Shotgun bullets. God, it would be nice to have a shotgun. There's that one room that has like 20 bullets in it too. I still have to grab. Yeah, who knows what's in that hallway now though. Where Mr. X was. Two, three is number one. How do I remember that? I don't know. It's engraved in my head. Permanently. I think you just have to randomly guess that too. I don't think there's any answer or way to solve it without just randomly figuring it out. It's helpful. I mean, that's that's nice. Especially since I haven't... It's funny because... You know, I found one green orb by itself, but everything else has been a mixed green and blue orb. So technically... <laughs> All these green herbs I've been getting too have been all been like. Wait, there's a red herb in that room right here. This is a red herb in here. I'm grabbing it. Even if there is a liquor in here, that might have changed to something else. Is it a red herb? I think it was. Yep. Worth it. Oh my god. Coming back. I got no ammo, but I'm coming back. I still haven't found that red uh, key card yet, which is surprising. Maybe I missed that. Because I think you can find that in the beginning of the game. Who knows? It'd be nice to get that red key card. There's a bunch of items in the basement. Oh, shit. <laughs> I gotta go back out. <laughs> I forgot about those guys. I'm so used to having just zombies in there, I don't even think about it anymore. Yeah, that F8 spray, yep, you got it. Yeah, that was a red herb, I remember that. Red herb I never picked up. Just didn't have room at the time. I actually might be able to do this. If I find the crank, I'd go back open and open, well, I don't even know if that'll give me anything decent. If I can't even find the crank, that's another thing I haven't found is the crank, at least I don't think. Wait, did I find the crank? Maybe I did find the crank. Oh, there's gonna be zombies in here. Or something. There's gonna be something in here now. That's not good. <laughs> You're shitting me. This I I should have never come down here. It's it's over. <laughs> it's <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Oh, I was not. I, why would I not expect that? Why would I not expect that? This is gonna be a reload game for sure. That's it for me. <laughs> it's worthless. Worthless. I will never be able to do that twice. What I just did, I will never be able to do that twice. And this liquor is gonna be right here. I have to run as soon as I as soon as I leave this door. He's gonna be facing me. Oh god! This is literally the worst randomized thing I've ever had ever. There's a liquor down here too. What do you know? Liquor's in pretty much every room. Still don't have any ammo, but I have like 15 blue herbs I can grab. I still haven't found the uh, the red key card, which means I might not be able to get that at all. Might be screwed on that. Oh, I can't get past these zombies without getting hit either. I don't have any ammo. Oh, I do. I have six bullets, which will stop nothing. But at least I can heal, I guess. It's okay. Red <laughs> the red key card is not random in this. It is where it usually is. All right. I might be able to get past these zombies without getting hit. Nope. I was wondering if I'd find that red key card. That one was not random. That's where that's supposed to be. Same spot as the original game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, 
I can find something in here. Maybe a shotgun? <laughs> something? Maybe I'll get the machine- Maybe I wonder if the machine gun's randomized. Because I'll actually take it if it gives me your machine gun. Take both, I don't even care. Please, just give me something. I should probably leave it for Claire to- <laughs> Let me just leave that for Claire, some fuel for her, huh? Yeah, I'll leave- I'll leave that for Claire. She can have the worthless fuel. Great. <laughs> Shit. This is legitimately the worst fucking randomized ever. There's a machine- no it's not, it's- it's fuel. It's worthless. Flamethrower doesn't do anything. So I must have the crank already. I just totally forgot that I even grabbed it. Because I think that's about it for items. I don't think there's anything else I can grab. Don't have a submachine gun, but I have like 4% bullets for it. I have like 50 shotgun bullets I don't have a shotgun for. I, there's no way I'm getting past this room again. <laughs> it wasn't even worth it. <laughs> it was not worth going back there. What did I get? Flamethrower rounds. Some shotgun bullets. So, you know, I'll never have to go back there again, so that's nice. But I don't know where the fourth plug is. Resident Evil 2. Maybe I did find it earlier and I died. That's not good. That's true. Alright. Wait, is this before? It isn't. Did I not save? Did I not save when I... F Must not have. No, I didn't, because I don't have to f Oh, I gotta do that again. I didn't save. I didn't even, I didn't even realize I didn't save. So I gotta grab... Mm, do I even need that key? I don't think I need that key. We just found out that I... I mean, unless I want to get a healing item. If I get a healing item, I can go back there and get that for a healing item, but... I mean, going through all that and wasting that ammo just to get a healing item is not worth it. Alright, let me check... Because I can just grab the pipe, the crank, I mean, the crank and the cog. Let's see what that is. I must have missed something. I must have missed the, uh... Oh, unless it was on the staircase. I wonder if it was on the staircase and I was going to come back. I did check the helicopter. There's nothing there. That's on B scenario, I think. You get that. But I think... Maybe I left the bishop plug. You know, it, it's on the, it's on the, it's on the stairs. I remember now. I left it there. It's on the stairs outside. Same with the cog. Cog and the uh, bishop plug are out here. I left them out here because I didn't have space in my inventory. I think. I think both those items are important right there. Well, technically only one is. But maybe the shotgun's up there. Oh, never mind. It was a blue herb. I don't know where the last plug is. Shit. Maybe it wasn't around here. I thought it... I don't remember. Oh, that's where it was. I knew it was around there. Okay, so that's the last plug. Um, so I have all the plugs now. I can go to the sewers. But I want to find that shotgun. I don't know if the shotgun... There's one more place I can check for a shotgun. Other than that, I'm moving on. <laughs> Shit, I might be able to beat this. I might be able to get through this, actually. Actually, it depends, because I even, I don't even know if I can even kill the, the proto-G mo monster or whatever, that G, uh, the G, the failed G monster thing. Oh, I didn't, fuck, I didn't bring it on the ladder yet. Okay. I thought I did, but that was on the other one when I died. So that's all four plugs, which means I can leave the damn precinct. Home free, and I don't have to worry about no uh, liquors in a hallway because the club key got me literally nothing but fuel and shotgun bullets for a shotgun I don't even have. 
which is very actually annoying. Because I hope I didn't miss the shotgun. If I miss the shotgun, it's over. <laughs> Unless I can find more magnum ammo. But hopefully the shotgun's up here in the uh, clock tower. I mean, that's the only place I haven't checked for items. I think everything else I've checked in this whole precinct, from my memory, I have pretty good memory for all the items in this game. Because I've played it way too many times. I think I've grabbed pretty much everything I can. Oh, I guess we'll find out. Hopefully the shotgun's up there. Wait, I have everything there. Club key was pointless. I mean, technically no, because I could get shotgun bullets in that one room. And I can also get a green herb. Which is very, very useful. But to get that club key, for what it takes to even get that club key, is not worth it for those two things. Everything else, it was like, here's a, here's a, here's some more fuel for your uh, flamethrower that doesn't do anything. Gave me three tanks of flame fuel. But I got green, I got a green herb for it too. But, ain't worth it. It ain't worth going down that hall. I, mean, I guess that's the one thing about having not having ammo right now is at least it's not zombies because you can't really get past something well you can some zombies you can get past depending on how big the room is but uh for the most part with the liquors at least you can get around them zombies it's a little bit harder to get around them well there might be a monster up here too probably gonna be wonder what it's gonna be unless that's a bee scenario i think there's a monster up here though Good to know. So you don't need the club key. And then also, the spade key, I can get even more shotgun ammo in that one room where Mr. X was. I still have that. I'm, if I find the shotgun here, I'll go after him. If I don't find the shotgun here, I'm not gonna even bother. <laughs> I'm just gonna move on with my life. Actually, you know what? Mm. No, yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna move on with my life. I'm gonna jump down the chute and continue on with my life. The switch. All right, come on, shotgun. Better be a damn shotgun. <laughs> Handgun with one bullet in it. <laughs> cool. Great. That's fantastic. <laughs> Same gun. It's just literally someone else's handgun. It's like Ada's handgun. Okay. <laughs> Poor Marvin. So that's how he died. <laughs> I see now. Yes, it all makes sense now. That looks too... Eh, I don't know. It looks too HD. I don't like it. I don't like the eyeball in that scene. Looks better than the original version. Is it any... I don't think it's any better. It's literally, okay, yeah, it's literally the same. It's just like, I think that might be Claire's pistol or Leon's normal pistol. It's just someone's normal pistol. Someone else's normal pistol. <laughs> at least it's a gun. Yeah, with one bullet in it, it literally helps me not at all. Ben! Can you still hear me? Come hey, it's Ben on, this time. It actually is Ben. Damn! Oh, there's an item in there. This. Maybe it's a shotgun. I almost got <laughs> Ben. Uh, it's really weird to look at this when it's just a giant block. Bitter irony. The chief of police. A weird thing to say. Bitter Coke irony. Conspirator. Get that skunk. Make me him pay. Well, I won't, so Hang in sorry. There, ben. Oh, that won't happen. My I'm just gonna move on my life, Ben. It's burning. I'm not gonna be able to kill the prototype monster without a knife. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, Marvin. Didn't she just die? <laughs> I think this is gonna break my game. This happened to me before in a cutscene, and the game just ended. God, what was that? It worked. 
<laughs> where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, what's wrong with you? Ada, wait. <laughs> hey. <laughs> He's crawling to the door. Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Ada, wait. You're going too fast. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Ada, you're Can you worming me? your way out the door. I'm on my way. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Shotgun. Come on, shotgun. A machine gun bullets. Okay. Okay. Where, where does one get the machine gun? Shotgun bullets. Use that so I have one space at least. Is there anything in his place? Does he have anything on him? A miserable death. Does he have anything in his cell? Can you even get in his cell? I don't think I've ever tried to get in his cell. Nothing. Butt kisses, they would say. It's Marvin. Poor Marvin. He's just dying. He got a worm in his body and now he's just a worm. He literally turned into a worm. He got a worm in his body and now he's a worm man. He has to crawl around like a worm. Get that scum. Make him pay. Alright, let's see. Can I kill... That monster. The G virus monster. With seven pistol bullets, six magnet bullets. Eh, maybe. maybe. But yeah, I'm not going for the shotgun bullets because, yeah, there's no point. Since I probably won't even find the shotgun. But who knows? Maybe I'll find it later. Maybe the game will reward me for defeating that somehow. Or somehow getting through all that crap. Be nice to me for once and actually give me some good shit. 12% bullets of machine gun. Sweet. No machine gun, though. So I gotta organ I gotta organize this stuff. Maybe I should bring the flamethrower. I'm gonna save, too. Since I actually beat the precinct somehow. Couldn't tell you how I beat the precinct, but I did it. Somehow did it. Do that, do that. Wait, I don't need that key anymore. Spade key, go by. Yeah, I wonder if the flamethrower will do anything to him. Because that's another thing you never use on him. You don't use it on anything because it literally shows up at the end of the game. I think it's just for the plants mostly. Plants are weak to fire. That's why they're weak to flame rounds and uh, flamethrower. But I think that's it. I think it's a real use for the flamethrower. Otherwise, it's kind of worthless. No healing items, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can kill the little tiny ones, too. With the flamethrower. Maybe I'll just waste the flamethrower on him. Just use whatever I can else. Probably should have brought the knife too. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> Alright. It seemed like it kinda worked actually. That wasn't bad. Okay. Did he die? Did I just kill him? I think I did. Damn. Lucky. There's no time to check it. Oh, is he still alive? Oh, he is still alive. That's not good. <laughs> I have to bring the knife with me. It's over anyways. I have nothing. I literally can't do anything. Hey. Off me. <laughs> well, I think that resets his health anyways, so now I have to legitimately fight him with just a knife. <laughs> Gee, if only I had a shotgun with, uh, you know, 50-something ammo. <clears throat> if only I could use the precious, precious. So all I have to do 
Somehow, oh, I guess I had one bullet left. <laughs> I forgot about this gun. <laughs> Be nice if you could just leave and he just disappears and I would never have to fight him ever again. There's no time to check that, but I can leave the room. All right, here we go, pro style. Time to be a pro. This is how real Resident Evil person plays. Knife only. No, maybe not. It doesn't look like he reset his position. Off me. God, I've never done this before. Off me. St step on you. Or stab you. I have to legitimately keep tapping the stupid run button so I don't get bit by the small ones. <laughs> oh my god, this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. So stupid. Off me! Get off me! Take that. Thank God he's so slow. Am I actually even be able to do this? I might be able to do this. He's so slow that I might legitimately be able to do this. Oh, crap. This is like the stupidest thing I've ever done. <laughs> oh, I didn't know he was on me. I can't tell because I'm a block. I'm a cube. Get off me. <laughs> Maybe I won't be able to do this. you'd have like a limited amount of those things inside of them. Step on you. Get out of here. <sighs> so annoying. Off his arm. Ah, get off. Jesus. Can't get past him. Get away from me. I can't get past him now. <laughs> I couldn't get past him now. Ah. <sighs> Got cornered. It doesn't help when you have those stupid things crawling on you. All right, I got an idea. Bring the knife this time. That is, I've never, ever, I don't think I've ever died from that thing. <laughs> Nobody has ever killed me. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever been killed by that boss. All right, I got an idea this time. <laughs> Bring the knife this time. That way I don't have to reset the whole entire fight and have to do the whole entire fight with a knife. I can do it if I don't have to like legitimately use everything. Like just <laughs> like it's crazy because six magnum shots doesn't kill him. Well it's five, I missed one shot. One shot I missed. This time I'll definitely be able to do it. If I could do that well with a knife, I should be okay. Should be. Let's see what happens. Tim, you haven't even seen these monsters in the remake. There's a bunch of these monsters in the remake. There's only one in this one, but there's a bunch in the remake. You can just imagine what these look like. I'm out. Seven. 
some bullets. More bullet. I got worms on me. Always oh, got the worms. Maybe very slow, but his attacks are really bad. I think it was on yellow caution when I died. Or no, I was on orange caution. I was on orange caution when I got killed. Pick up your friends. Oh shit, I'm gonna corner myself again. Oh, that's lucky. Okay, just complete missed. Ah, it's just stupid, annoying. It's like one one jumps off me, another one jumps on me. Out of here. Get off me. <laughs> There's like four of them now. Get I can't hit them. Oh, this is insane. Get off me. In fact, you have to keep tapping the run button to get them off you is annoying too. Get off. God! Oh, he's dead! I killed him! I did it! Easy. Alright, whatever. I'm sick of this. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, I forgot the- I forgot the plug. I can't get past his dead body. I did it. There you go. Easy. Yeah, they show up later in the game. They're pretty gross. They, uh, show up in the sewer area. And, uh, yeah, you have to pass, like, a bunch of them. There's only one in this game. But in the remake, they're like, hey, how about we put four or five in? And they're under the water, so you can't see them. And then they pop up out of the water to scare you. They're nasty. Well, since I got a new handgun, maybe I'll just stick to the handgun. Maybe it's better. I'm just I'm just gonna use it. I don't care. I'm just gonna use my last save. Oh, this is by far the hardest uh, run I've ever done in my life. Alright, well, honestly, <laughs> I'm not in a very good spot right now. Well, once I go to the sewers, there's a bunch of items down there. Maybe I'll get something decent. Maybe I'll get a shotgun. If I get a shotgun, I'll be fine. But if I had to fight William with a bunch of blue herbs, I'm screwed. Because you can't hurt William with blue herbs. I didn't know if you knew that, but uh, you cannot throw blue herbs at William Birkin to kill him. Got him around the big eye. Partner's big eye. That's a weird thing about the G virus. Why does it give you a giant eye? Ada. It's Ada. Last time we saw Ada, she was locked in that cell. What was that all about? Running that little like dance that he did. Reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere. Not to mention Sassy. That thing that Sassy hit. Kendo. I was there, Leon. I know. Look, Ada. As an officer, it's my job to look out for you. Sassy, we're sassy not going Kendo. To get this alive if we don't work together. Okay? Let's work together. All right. We'll do this your way for now. <laughs> Let's go, Ada. Does Ada actually have a shotgun? <laughs> I doubt it. I bet that's gonna act like a pistol. Let's see, there's probably gonna be Ada in the next screen, anyways. Oh, now it's Marvin. Goody. <laughs> Come on, Marvin, hurry up. Really? What is half? <laughs> I'm just gonna walk away. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Ada. Very helpful. Oh, shit. Come on, shotgun. Eh, you know... I talk about how much I hate that... Gun? But, you know, right now, I will look the other way. That's not so bad. <laughs> okay, Sherry. Let's go. <laughs> I wonder if she acts like Sherry, too. Like, if you run too far away from her, she will, will she sit down? Let's find out. Let's see if she actually acts like Sherry. I think she does. Yeah. She acts just like... She's literally Sherry. But can I leave without her? Yeah, that's interesting, okay. So 
that's good to know. I think there's an item. A couple items. It's weird that Leon can get the, uh... Claire's weapons. I was not expecting to get Claire's weapons. I got one save left. Yeah, I might as well put that away, I guess. That's what this is. Hey, you know, I got through that, and like I said, the game's rewarding me now. It's giving me what I need. It's giving me some decent stuff now. I will take it. I will take Claire's guns. It's better than nothing. The crossbow ain't very good, but it's better than zero bullets. And I got my first first aid spray of the game. Literally, over halfway through the game, I finally got first aid spray. It's too dark to see. That's a... Uh, okay, wolf metal down here. Nice. Maybe I can just skip the alligator. What we got down here? The game only can get easier, right? It can only get easier. I'll take it. I'll probably need it. There's gonna be a bunch of liquors down here. First F aid spray of the game. Over halfway through the game, I got my first first aid spray. <laughs> and I literally explored the whole entire precinct. I'm gonna put away a spark shot for now. Hmm. Do I though? I guess I'll just knife. I'll knife what I need to if I really need to. I could just skip the sewers. But potentially the shotgun could be here. So I'm, well, I guess if I do bad. If I end up having a horrible time down here, maybe I'll just skip the sewers. We'll find out. We'll see if I need to or not. Okay. Leon is now uh, Marvin. <laughs> Chief Irons. <laughs> <laughs> that woman was I have to talk to <laughs> Alright, that's pretty good. That, that was pretty good. I don't know what just happened, but it was pretty good. I like that. <laughs> Probably the best cutscene I remember in Resident Evil 2. <laughs> Chief Irons missed point blank. Pretty good. Oh wait, she can't pick up anything anyways. <laughs> Chief Irons came and make a shot. I gotta get I gotta get that scum, make him pay. Get that scum. Literally went after the scum. That's funny. Alright, who's gonna be in this scene? Oh no! Wow, that's a big twist. It's Chris. Chris was working for Umbrella all along. Ada, Ada Wong. Chris is the real bad guy. I've heard that name before. He also had a sex change, apparently. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T virus research used his girlfriend. Chris, you sound really pretty. I don't know why. <laughs> what kind of feelings I'm getting? But I'm getting some kind of feeling. Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T virus. William Birkin. I was in love with Wesker. What? John's dead. I had to work with Wesker. Don't you see? My condolences. And although I regret this, you will That's a huge twist. I didn't realize in Resident Evil 2 Chris was the bad guy. Or one of the bad guys. G-Virus away from me. G Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T virus. Then that I like how like Chris isn't even holding a gun, he just has his hand out. Is precisely he got handgun. My husband, William. And it's all Umbrella's fault. I guess he'd be doing this actually. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. That's a crazy twist. I don't even remember that. He decided to become a good guy in five. Wesker cheated on him or something like that, so he went after him. This way. This way. Yeah, all the cutscenes in this uh, have Japanese subtitles because it's the PC uh, Source Next port or whatever. My precious G virus. No one so you see all these subtitles in Japanese. <laughs> this was like the coolest scene in the world to me when I was a kid. I thought this was the coolest thing ever. There he is. So you finally come. 
So Doctor, you finally you're here to got the G virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. <laughs> what is it? The <laughs> Cutscenes were randomized like these. The CGI scenes. That did all right. Okay, let's move out. Have Kendo there instead. Having that be uh, William. Leon. Oh my. <laughs> Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Something tells me he's just gonna do something you're gonna regret. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? I've never seen the scene in this kind of quality. This is two HD, bro. <laughs> That was a really fast acting virus. He injected the G virus into his own body. The G the guy would turn into a freak. To revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over yeah, there. When I was like seven, I saw this scene for the first time, or I was like eight probably. When I saw this for the first time because it took a long time to get here. Uh, what is this? Was the coolest thing ever? Him going and killing everybody. Kill my boy Hunk. Hurry! But Hunk's the fourth survivor. What, what is this thing? <laughs> Fire. Fire. Oh, that's the first time I've ever seen his face. You can actually see his face in the cutscene. God, don't tell me the rats. So those rats were the <laughs> His story gets very yeah, it gets very interesting when the uh, cutscenes <laughs> are just random people. It'd been great if this was Sherry again. The little girl holding a gun to Ada. Talking with like an adult woman's voice. She's gonna she's gonna slap Chris. Fight over the air. Pa. Damn, Chris has got a sexy voice. Too bad. Squeaky shoes, too bad. Well, now you know what happened. William Birkin used the virus to kill the people that tried to kill him. Uh. What if the what if that alligator was random too? And the Sherry, Sherry as well. Ah! Sherry came out of the water. Oh God! What am I now? I'm broken tofu. I'm tofu with blood. I've been shot tofu. I'm shot tofu. I can't believe they made that. It's like glitched tofu. What is? Really? They made a glitched tofu? <laughs> After getting shot in the arm, you get turned into a mystery tofu. Part of your tofu is gone now that you've been shot by a uh, net Birkin. Interesting. I did not expect that. I could just leave without Ada. Oh God, you know, they really like giving me things I can't use. I have to go back upstairs. I forgot to put away the ink ribbons. Moldy tofu, yeah, that's what it looks like. Piece of my my tofu's gone and also a moldy. The fact that it does that is really weird to me. Like someone had to have done that on purpose then, because I don't know, that's weird. It's all glitched out now. Maybe that just happened randomly. Just some weird act I don't know. It could have been on purpose. It could have been random. All I know is I'm injured now. Uh, she would be nice if I had a submachine gun. I do need that. I do need that. I do need that, though. Why don't you go down there? But, uh... All I know is the rest of the game is going to be much easier. <laughs> the sewers are pretty straightforward. And it sounded like there was uh, spiders. These spiders weren't randomized. Maybe nothing's randomized. Well, items are randomized, but I don't think the enemies are. Because I think there's usually spiders down here. Dude, 
Actually, yeah, right. It'd be nice if I found a shotgun. See you, Tim. Have fun doing your California sunshine thing. I'm just looking for items. I don't remember whether it's actual items or not. In the sewers. But I think it should be pretty easy now. I would assume it would be. Okay, that is random. Never mind. Just happened to randomly get spiders. Randomly not change anything. I guess once in a while you get something that's random that turns out not to be random at all. It's so random, it's not random. <laughs> I wonder what happened if you just... Well, I guess if you left Ada and just skipped on and went through the sewers without her. She'd probably just show up in the next cutscene. I would assume. Who knows? What do I know? All I know is there's items here. And I want a shotgun really bad. Magnum parts is nice too. I'll take magnum parts because that'll give me free bullets. Pist pistol? Maybe I shouldn't have picked that up. I should have saw what this was before I picked that up. Well, that's not very useful without a shotgun. <laughs> It would be very useful if I had the shotgun. <laughs> Jesus. He gave me the shotgun parts about the shotgun. I must have missed a shotgun or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's where the flamethrower is. It's going to be where the flamethrower is at. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Whatever. At least the sewers is very easy. Ada! <laughs> Ken, no, you're shooting out your penis. Hit me. So that's what you call ballistics, huh? Now we know where uh, Kendo put his ballistics, huh? Let's see, the president has equipped Kendo with ballistics, too. Literally. <laughs> Tofu with a with a bow gun. I never thought I'd ever see the day. I don't know what's gonna happen when she bandages him. What is he gonna look like now? Now that he's gonna get bandaged up? Cause now Ada's gonna put the bandage on him. I wonder if he's gonna change it all. He's gonna he's gonna have a band-aid, he's gonna look exactly the same but with like a bandage over him. <laughs> That'd be interesting to see. Find out. Leon. <sighs> this bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Quiet, this bullet Leon. wound. I'll patch you up. Damn, Kendall's a babe. No. Nope. That's two I owe you. I guess I'm no longer Don't tofu. Mention it. <laughs> I guess I went back to normal normal Leon. I but she really I healed him. She went beyond I'm healing dead. him. What? Turned tofu into a real boy. Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner See, if the I had skipped this cutscene, I'd be tofu forever. Or would I? Who knows what would have happened if I just kept it going on? If I just kept going through the sewers? <laughs> Marvin. Thanks, Ada. Oh, I forgot to put up the stupid thing because I was looking at the stupid items and I forgot. I was like, I saw the shotgun parts and stuff and I was like, oh. Totally got distracted by that. Which, do I want to come back and grab them? I, I mean, I might as well. Uh, and, uh, you know what? No. I'm not coming back. Though. The super shotgun's annoying. I don't like it. It's got that, like, huge recoil. I mean, it's nice. It's more powerful, but it's... It's got a really big recoil on it. I don't like it. But I just have the regular shotgun. If I even get the shotgun. So I won't come back for that. But what if I find the shotgun upstairs? I'll have to come back no matter what. I like how the shotgun bullets turn into shotgun parts. At least I'm getting somewhere. Damn, I can't believe I forgot to do that. It's like my number one thing when I play this game. I always have to remember you have to hit that before you fight the alligator. I guess it's just been that long. It's been a while since I played it. Since I played Resident Evil 2. At least the original. Actually, yeah, I think I played the, the remake. From... 
sooner than I played this game. No matter what, it's gonna be Marvin right there. Poor Marvin. I like how Marvin doesn't have like a walking animation. He has a crawling animation though. All right, so that was just the egg ribbon. So yep, I'm not coming back. I ain't coming back. He's got a standing animation too. I'm trying to think if there's any more items. Yeah, I think that's it for the sewers. Sewers is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Still have a damn shotgun. But at least I have ammo. That's something. Oh, hi Ben. Ben has a walking animation. Look at that. Ben has a, uh, I'm in danger <laughs> walking animation. Interesting to know. You never see Ben ever walk. I guess like I like how Ada's like not even here. She's here, but she's she must be something completely like invisible. <laughs> she must be in that room. Invisible Ada. I like that. She's invisible in here too. Or it's just broken. You can't have her in here. No Ada waiting. All right, so now I have to somehow defeat William Birkin. And I didn't, all I found was some handgun ammo. A couple guns. Yeah, this will be interesting too. I don't know how well this is gonna work out. With like, Ben didn't look good. Ben is over. Hey, look, it's Ada. Bend over and take it. Let's see. I guess it's only a B scenario. Thought there was something there, but yeah, guess not. Oh my god, how am I supposed to? Maybe I'll let. I'll use the knife. <laughs> a knife? I've never done this either. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but I've never knifed William Birkin. Oh my god, Marvin isn't gonna do anything. Well, I wanna see what Marvin does, how he shoots. It's gonna be interesting to see how Marvin shoots in the train. And his cutscene's gonna be ridiculous too. <laughs> fell over. That's great. Thanks, Marvin. I can't hit him. I don't want to get too close to him either. Marvin, do something. Really? It's a time thing. It's not even a thing of damage. I never knew that either. <laughs> All right, Marvin, killed it. That was the best shoot I ever seen, Tex. Damn. All right. <laughs> Marvin's a beast when he wants to be. That was great. <laughs> he just went. He looked like. <laughs> he looked like he was like Woody or something like that from Toy Story. <laughs> That was great. It's one of the greatest scenes I've ever seen in Resident Evil. Why didn't they be- oh, that's nice. Well, good thing I knew about that item there. <laughs> Woody Doll Marvin. I like it. What's gonna be in here though? And no Ada, back me up. It's not good. I'm gonna do this by myself, whatever's in here. Oh no, tentacles. Excuse me, I'm trying to get my stupid item. Okay, pistol ammo again. Cool. I mean, it's better than nothing. It's better than a, than a knife. I'll say that. It's better than a knife. You got a friend in me. Remind me of big time. All right, he's got me back up now. Hell yeah. All right, kill it. Kill whatever's in here. Zombie Brads? Uh oh. That's not good. Uh, Ada, do something. There you go. 
Nice. Keep going, Ada. Nice. Kill it. Backing up. Really? I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. Ada, kill him. Really? That is actually Brad. Wow. The other one went down really easy. He's going down like he's Brad. How many bullets does it take? I think she just put like 30 bullets in him and he's still alive. Did she just blow his legs off? Like his headshot? What? Okay. That was very interesting. This is a very interesting randomized room. Okay, I like how this is the first time it's been giving me pistol ammo. It's like over halfway through the game and now it's just giving me pistol ammo. And one ink ribbon. Great. Well, I guess I won't complain. It's better than just blue herbs. It's all I got in the beginning of the game. Blue herbs in the... <sighs> that was a nightmare. Precinct, but that was... This was legitimately, like, ridiculous. I'm gonna save, but first I'm gonna put some things away. Is it the Magnum? I can't even tell it's the Magnum. It's not. That's the Magnum. But is that the same Magnum? It is. Cool. Cool. Eight bullets. I'll take it. Uh, get the pistol back now. I might as well use the... I might as well use the um, bow gun. Because I don't think I'm going to find any more ammo for that. For this game. Machine gun. I haven't found a machine gun or a shotgun. Yet I have all this ammo for shotguns and machine guns. Alright. <sighs> Grab this. What this is. Grab. Okay. Great. All these, uh. Yeah, you get free magnum bullets if you upgrade your gun. So it's better to kind of use up your ammo before you uh, upgrade your gun. Alright, I'm not complaining anymore. I just got a bunch of magnum rounds. I can definitely take on Birkin. No big deal. It's on hard mode though. It's gonna take more damage, I'm assuming. Everything else has. There's the machine gun. Alright, I definitely am not complaining anymore. Alright, cool. Sweet. I actually have a full heal item. Shit. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this away for now. I'm gonna use up the machine gun. I'm gonna save though first. 20 percent though. <laughs> worthless. The machine gun's worthless to me. But at least I have some I guess I have some machine gun ammo, I guess. Ooh. How much I even have? Sixty percent, thirty-six percent. All right. Hopefully that'll do it. Hopefully I can kill uh, Birkin with that. Forty percent. It's not bad, I guess. It's gonna be gone by the time I fight. By the time I fight William, it's gonna be out. But. Hey, you know, I don't complain. I'm not a big fan of the machine gun, but if I'll, I'll use it. Let's go see what the key is. I wonder if the key's gonna be shotgun. That's the only thing I'm missing still is that shotgun. I have no idea where I missed that, if I even missed it. Oh. Okay, this now just became the easiest run. This became the easiest run. Okay. Lab key card already? All right. Well, I'm grabbing that rocket launcher. I was not expecting there to be a randomized rocket launcher in here. So yeah, I just beat the game. <laughs> I think that's just, I think it's automatic win. Wait, if I put the key in, will it start up the engine? Yeah, I'll need this right now. There's a keyhole. Yeah, I can put it in. 
don't know if you, I don't think you have to hit the button. I want that rocket launcher. Because how many, I gotta fight William Birkin and William Birkin, that's it. So I think if I have the rocket launcher for the dog, hey, I'll be sad. I'm fine. I'll be good. So I guess I'll put this away then. Maybe. Yeah. Let's go with that. Let's roll with this. Let's see what happens. It's funny because you don't get a rocket launcher in Leon A. I mean, you can find it in Leon B, but... Leon A? I wasn't expecting that at all. Ah, uh, Ada, you got stuck. But I'm getting that for sure. I mean, after everything I've suffered through in the beginning of this game, I think I deserve a rocket launcher. It was definitely the hardest thing I've ever done in uh, Resident Evil 2. Or any Resident Evil, honestly. That was that was ridiculous. Every other room was, was at least five liquors. Jesus. There we go. We got one bullet in it. I was hoping for at least two. But one's more than... Uh, more than what you usually get. Look at that cutscene. Look, it looks like a real elevator. It's like real life graphics. There's still a lot of pixelation on the uh, cutscene sometimes. <laughs> Goes Kendo. Ada, Ada. It's funny because I think Ada's on, been Kendo most of, of this cutscenes. <laughs> Talk to. She's unconscious. Maybe, just maybe, I might be able to pull this off. The machine gun. I put away other stuff. Oh. Hopefully I can do this with a pistol and a machine gun. If not, that's gonna suck. I know. I have no idea. I have no idea how much harder he is on hard. I know he won't be faster, so it should be alright. He's pretty... From what I remember, he's pretty easy in this form. B is a little bit harder, because he has the full arm. Knock him down while he's in his machine gun. I don't got it. Yo, Tofu! Oh, I went back to Tofu, I just realized that. I just realized I went back to him. Alright, yeah, he's, he's a lot tougher. Alright. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Two percent left. What that translated into in bullets, I don't know. Oh. All right, I should be okay. Hopefully, hopefully I did enough. Okay, this, actually, this handgun seems better. I like this handgun. I don't think it's anybody's handgun. This handgun's different. It's like a special handgun. This is like Chris's handgun, battle mode. Which I've never played as Chris in this game. There we go. It's almost over. I might be able to do it. Oh yeah, he's done. Oh yeah, good question. I don't know. I'm assuming that you have to get the rocket launcher. It's probably not randomized there because, yeah, you have to use the rocket launcher to kill Tyrant. So I think it is. If I remember right, because I've played it, I'm pretty sure she gives you a rocket launcher there. No matter what. Because <laughs> you can't win the game without the rocket launcher. You have don't to kill him with the rocket launcher. Don't Come die, on. Ben. Wake up. 
I know your stomach got ripped in half, come but come on, man. Come on, Ben. I'll carry you, Ben. Don't worry, we'll make this scum pay together. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you get a rocket launcher in Beast Scenario. It's not random. <laughs> Ben's arm is hanging down. I like that. Just like Ada's. Welcome Marvin back. will make it. <laughs> hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella. He really did get land. messed up, didn't he? I'll go find something to treat that wound. So Ada got really messed up by by uh, William. I'll only slow you down. With He's bleeding injuries. from his eyeball. I mean, she's bleeding from her eyeball. Save yourself. Bleeding from her stomach. I told you, it's my job to look after you. You'll be in Thank danger. Thank you. With William, you. yeah, I did all right. I could have. I, mean, I, I was getting kind of uh, impatient of with that fight. I got hit a couple times. I, I should have gotten hit. With you. I. I. Don't I I'm not capable of caring about anything. I'm gonna find the shotgun. The shotgun's gonna be where the. Uh, I don't want to lose you. <laughs> where We're the ammo disc is. Together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. Be the very last room of the game. Hey, I'll take it. Healing items. Fuel. I don't care about fuel. I hey, look, the ammo disc, I can leave. I can legitimately almost leave. I think I can. I think I can actually leave. Let's see. Eh, put this away for now. Wait, did I, I use my first aid? During that fight? That sucks. But, it's fine. Oh, you know what? I'll take this. I'll use that. I guess I'll save. Let's see what this is too. I guess the ammo disc is right. Got the ammo disc. Let me think. So if I had the ammo disc, I don't you just need the ammo disc to leave? I think you can leave with them. I think that's all you need to leave. Because I think you just have to use that to open the escape door. <laughs> Ben will get that scum. I mean, he did run off and shoot uh, Leon. <laughs> that scum. Chief Irons was running around. He missed. He missed Ada. He tried to shoot her in the head. Missed and hit Tofu. So we're still trying to catch up to him. But I think yeah, technically I could just get this the power started, go all the way to the bottom, go to that locked door, and then uh, leave. I think. But. Who knows? I still need, like... Well, I guess we... Hmm. With the rocket launcher, I could definitely beat this game right now. I could just beat it right now. Could just go to the bottom. End it. But we'll check out some items. We'll check out some rooms. Okay, first aid spray is first aid spray. That's nice. Who knows what this is? Oh, that's... Okay. This room is not randomized at all, apparently. It's not true. If you're playing Outbreak, you find the shotgun in here. Shotgun's here in Outbreak. Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be here either. I was like, I was like one last try. I, sa I said one last try, and then I beat it. <laughs> I got past the point where I said I had one more try, and I was going to quit. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm still going. But I'm almost done. It got a lot easier after the precinct. Bullets. That I was not... That I was not... I did not expect that. <laughs> I did not expect there to be bullets after that. <laughs> All right, so this was random. Okay, interesting. Two items in that room were not were not random, but when I got that back to turn on the power, uh, it was random. So that means I have to go on the other side to find the battery. Uh, is there weed in that basement? There was no weed. There was a lot of blue weed in the basement. A lot of blue weed. No green weed. Couldn't find any green weed. But uh, I found a lot of blue weed in this game. In a lot of basements. I found like 12, I swear. There was like 12 like blue blue herbs, no ammo. The first part was insane. Okay, what is that? Back to the blue herbs. Can't get enough blue herbs. 
cool. What is that? What is on the roof right now? Is that... What is that? They're dogs. Oh my god, no. <laughs> uh, Alright. Flying dogs. I think I've seen everything in Resident Evil now. I don't think I... <laughs> I did not expect that. That... that yeah. Okay. That was something. Oh my god. Just light it. Just light it. Let's go. I better not be getting her drinks cutscene. Oh my god, go! I think I broke the game. I think I broke it. I can't do anything. Good game. Good game. That's it. I legit I legitimately can't do anything. That broke that broke the cutscene. Which broke the game. Which means if I want to get through that, I'm gonna have to kill the dogs. Which would be nice if I had the machine gun still. Alright, we'll try again. I'll try one more time. So I have to kill every zombie dog in that room before I activate the uh, fire. Great. So I'm forced to I'm forced to use a gun. All right. Shit. Handgun parts. Transform the gun, but it's a specific gun. I don't think I have that gun. Um, that's a lot of dogs, too. Shit, I might just use, I might just use the spark gun. <laughs> the strangest, the strangest run I've ever done. Pet the puppies. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't pet them or nothing. They bit me and that was it. They broke my game. The most deadly of all monsters. Alright, so... First aid and bullets. Alright, I'll grab those. I'll try that again. First aid and bullets. I'll definitely need the first aid, I'm assuming, against those dogs. There's a lot of dogs in that room. I've never seen, like, five dogs in one room. Okay, I can work with it. I don't know how well the spark shot works on uh, on dogs, but we're about to find out. I've never used them on dogs. Never had to. It's, I usually don't pick that gun up. It's just like a worthless gun. It's a worthless gun. Cause that. I wonder if the power is random too. If the power thing is random, then this game might be screwed too. It has to be in that one room. If it's not in that one room, then uh, that's it. it. Runs over. <laughs> I just realized that. Can't beat the game unless I can turn on power. And if I can't turn on the power, then it's game over. Alright. Try this again. Guess we'll find out. Hopefully they didn't. They thought about that when they uh, did the randomizer on this. We shall see. Oh, man. Need something to eat. I'm hungry. You have. Mm. Oh, no. Alright, tofu with the spark shot. Here we go. Make those guns pay. Can you aim up with the spark shot? Nope. I know what to do. Just shoot. That's what I'm shooting at. That's it. Nope. 
this gun sucks. Oh my god, this gun sucks. Yes, I get it. Jesus. This is the hardest. Almost as bad as that room with the liquors. This is worse than the liquors. <laughs> Can't do this. Oh my god. Spark shot sucks. Guns suck. Man. How many dogs are in there? There's like one, two, I see one, two, three, four, five, six dogs in the screen. There was one I killed, or at least two more. There's like eight dogs in there. And I have to kill them to get that cutscene to activate. Because I can't be hit during the cutscene. Unless I can get... No, I don't think I have to. I think I'm... Yeah. The rocket launcher won't help me. I can kill one dog with a rocket launcher. I want that crap. I guess I'll take that for no reason. Wait a minute. Maybe I do that. Maybe I use the... Uh, better pistol. I don't even think that's the pistol, is it? It is. Okay. If only I had a shotgun. And how much that would help <laughs> against the dogs? It'd be very helpful. Alright. Alright, well, at least there's something harder than the liquors now. I'm forced to fight eight dogs at once. Fun. At least I had the, the um, triple shot Matilda gun or whatever. The creepy. They did. They looked really creepy with the uh, in the ceiling because I didn't know what they were. I thought they were like tentacles or something hanging from the roof, walking towards me. And it turns out they're just dogs. That spark shot is worthless. I should probably grab that first aid spray. I just know I'm gonna be able to do this with it. I don't know. I don't know. Spray and pray, I guess. Alright, this is kind of working. <laughs> Can't waste all my ammo, but whatever. Whatever works. Controls backwards. Ugh, controls are backwards. Damn Japanese. Make me play wrong. I'm so used to the other, like the basic controls. But yeah, there we go. See? Easy. <laughs> Easy. Dead zombies, <laughs> zombie dogs in the roof. No big deal. Said, use your damn lighter. Really? Did I? Alright, I'm gonna leave the room, come back. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can use it. It wouldn't let me use it. I despise animals. That's why I just killed eight dogs hanging from the ceiling. That's what you do. Sometimes when you got a dog hanging from the ceiling, the only thing you can do is shoot it. Can I... Did I break? I think this game's... Oh. Oh, they were the tentacles in the, in the ceiling. The dogs were the tentacles in the ceiling. So I killed the tentacles so I didn't have to burn the ground. I did okay. This is just unfair. It, it's it's over. I'm dead. And I guess I can try to unlock this door and try to come back in. So technically the dogs are the tentacles in the ceiling. So technically, you know what? Maybe I don't have to kill those dogs after all. I might not have to kill those, those dogs. I think I can just literally get them out of the ceiling and just jump through the, the vent. This isn't fair, though. Like, what am I, I just need to get that stupid locker so I can get my damn 
Key, okay, blue herb. Well, we're about to find out if it's even in here. This might be the end of the game. Of course it is. Of course the main fuse is in here. Dead anyways. Alright, well, new strategy. Oh my god, this is like the most ridiculous... So the spark shot gun, right? That's a gun in the original game. Resident Evil 2. I don't know what the point of that gun is because it seems like it doesn't kill anything in the original game. It seems really worthless. That's supposed to be used for like a specific monster or something because I've never figured it out. That weapon's always been worthless. It's like the weakest gun in the game. I think I can get away with that. I like how there's a blue herb in that damn cabinet. Of course there's another blue herb in the damn cabinet with the damn room with the damn liquors. <laughs> uh, and let me guess, when I activate the power to the machine, it's not going to be plant monsters, it's going to be liquors. Yeah, I think that's what happened, because I set fire to the non-existent... Yeah, it was a number of things. I think it was also because the dogs hit me during the cutscene. <laughs> oh, this is like the worst. <laughs> Alright, we'll be fine. At least I can get the main fuse. That's all that really matters. If I didn't, couldn't get to find that main fuse, it'd be over. And I'll definitely take that. I'm going to definitely need that. I'm gonna have to kill those liquors in that room. I don't know if I can. Mm, we'll see. Let's see what happens. I think that handgun might be Chris's handgun, and it seems like it's stronger than the normal handgun. Could be wrong. They call that the Samurai Edge. Maybe it works, maybe it don't. This is definitely the longest run I've ever done of Resident Evil 2. Just for Scenario A as well. But at least I don't have to kill 8 dogs. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't have to kill 8 dogs. This shit's a little ridiculous. Like 2 dogs is... yeah sure. 3 dogs is pushing it. 4 dogs is insane. Anything over 4 you're just... Eight dogs? It's not fair. <laughs> not fair at all. What was in that dan- what was in that locker? It was something worthless, wasn't it? Something I didn't need. I forgot. I forgot what was in this locker. We got a blue herb in that one locker, and a, probably a blue herb in this locker too. Goodness. Yeah, of course. Of course! They weren't- they were- they weren't tired of giving me blue herbs. Don't care about that. Nope, I have to kill him. I have to kill the dogs. Hear it. So you have to kill the dogs. Or may maybe you only have to kill one dog. I don't know. Well, now I'm facing these guys again. Shit! Maybe I bring the Magnum with me. I didn't even think about that. I should have just brought the Magnum, wasted them one shot. Waste them in one shot, or I get lucky. I don't think I can because he's. Maybe. 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 Oh my god, look at that. Thank god for my blue herb. I'm definitely going to need that for all the poison creatures I've been fighting. I don't think I've seen one poisonous creature yet. Get out of the room! <laughs> they're just hungry? Yeah, well. They're trying to eat me. I wasn't even trying to kill them, they made me kill them. 
I like how it says that Ada is still with me too, by the way. I just noticed that. Ada is still with me. She's still following me around, apparently. But yeah, those, uh... At least I did that. Did that a lot better. Not too bad. There you go. Power's restored. So let's see. I have the key card, so I might as well just go here first. There's no point in coming back. Might as well just check this room out. So I got the key card already. Let's see what kind of treats we got. <coughs> They're in hell. They're in doggy hell. But all dogs go to heaven. Alright, I think I'm going to leave this room. I, I don't need shotgun bullets. At this point, I do not need shotgun bullets. I'm missing the, you know, the one thing that's really important. The shotgun. <laughs> Which I'm, I'm shocked I haven't found. I must have missed it. I can't think of any other logical explanation that I missed it somehow. There must have been an item I didn't know about or some item I forgot about. Because uh, that shotgun would indeed be very helpful due to the fact I have so much ammo for it. It's going to be the last item I find. <laughs> see what's behind the gate. Plant monsters, okay. It's not bad. Spit at me though. I don't know if I can kill them with 15 bullets. At least I have all these blue herbs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't dodge them. One time I wish I had a flamethrower. Look. Oh, I thought they poisoned me. I was like, oh, I finally got poisoned for the first time in the game with all my 20, with all 20 of the blue herbs I found. Finally used one. Nope. Sorry, sir. I'm going to need to check all these items behind you. This game has been like, literally like, um, ink ribbons and blue herbs. Like crazy. <laughs> Ammo, though, not so much. All right, what's gonna be in this room? Oh God! Whew. I'm not ready for what's in this room. Like I said, like I said, you gotta be kidding me! It's supposed to be B scenario things, man. There's no way to get past this unless I shoot him, so I'm gonna have to go back for a magnum. Oh, that sucks. Maybe I can get past him. I don't think you can, though. I think this hallway is too small. I'm gonna die again. Shit. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, that's really fun. 1% bullets. Great. <laughs> God. Uh, Kendo's corpse had uh, magnum bullets on it, if I remember right. It was just magnum bullets. Kendo's corpse only had magnum bullets. I did check it. Because I was, I was wondering that too. Resident Evil 2. Oh, so annoying. Alright, well, I'm bringing the Magnum now. Shit, might as well bring. Mm, Flamethrower takes too much room. Alright, so we'll bring. <laughs> Don't even know. I haven't even found the side pack. Yeah, fuck it. It's, it's too hard with those liquors there. I don't even know if 8% of flame rounds will even help. Oh, this is, I thought this was going to get easier. I really thought this was going to get easier, but it uh, it's getting hard again, apparently. I like how literally it randomized the uh, zombies to be B-scenario uh, liquors. That is so great. 
so helpful. God, so unfair. Uh, might as well grab the first aid spray. I'm gonna need it. Gotta kill dogs. I gotta. I wonder. Yeah, maybe I only have to kill one dog. We'll find out. It is a mystery with that shotgun. I have no idea what the shotgun is because I'm pretty sure I've checked every single thing that I could possibly check in the precinct. I'm trying to think if there's any room I missed. Don't think so. I don't think I missed a room. Unless I missed a ink random ink ribbon that I don't even think about because I never usually save. It could be a possibility. I don't know. No idea. Where did I go wrong? It's gonna be the, like I said. It's gonna be the last item in the game. <laughs> it's gonna be the item in the laboratory at the bottom floor, where you usually get the key card. It's gonna be where the red key card is. <laughs> That's where it's gonna be. All right. So, and then also, there's a green herb in the room with the key card here. Actually, I can just open it now, huh? I could just open this door now. You don't need power to this door. I can just go in here. <laughs> There's no power, but I can go in there. That. I can at least grab this. That'll help. The shotgun bullets I don't care about. There might be something else in there. But I don't remember. Trying to think, because yeah, I usually go there with the case, put the case in, but I don't. There might be one more item in that room. Is it worth getting? Probably not, unless it's the shotgun. But the world will never know. Right, I can kill one dog, <laughs> and then just get through that door, and then get past the liquors. Be a good run. Will one dog die, please. There we go. It works. <laughs> all right. So all I need to do is kill one dog. I can get through it. Alright, don't need that stupid light thing anymore. I got hit, so I might as well use this. Oh, I wonder if I can even pick up. I'm probably gonna have to use a blue herb too. There's another health item right there too. A green herb. There's a lot of plants in here. Uh oh. Oops. I probably have to grab that anyways, honestly. I'm about to get smashed. Oh, thank God for that liquor hitting me in the shin. That did, that did help. I would've got hit really hard by that flying attack. Really, I'm in caution already? Jesus. Good. Very good. I like it. Yeah, hard mode's a little bit harder too. You, you take damage a lot faster in this mode. Masochist Alex strikes again and go for the uh, hardest mode to do randomizer. Like the worst randomizer ever. Shit, I don't want to waste ammo on these plant monsters either. I might have enough bullets in my pistol to kill him. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. On hard mode, it's a whole different story. But it seems like this, this handgun's better. Oh, goody. Maybe not. One. Oh, the other one grabbed me still. 
is still alive. Stop it. Stop it. Right? Yeah, easier to kill one. Like, killing one dog is pretty hard because, like, once you knock one dog down, then there's another dog right, right past him. And you hit that dog, and you hit the next dog, and you hit the next dog. <laughs> Might as well use it. Better than nothing. Damn, that was a low yellow caution, apparently. It's a good thing I have first aid spray still. Another dog comes. Another dog comes. Right, at, least, mm, at least I can kill these uh, liquors now. Oh, I still have my rocket launcher, so I'm not really too worried about ammo. I can just kill William with that. I'm just going to kill William with a rocket launcher. <laughs> I'm going to mess around with that. I'm not even going to try, because I'm going to run out of ammo trying to fight him. Use a knife on William. Use dog form? Yeah, right. Dead. Want some too, bro? Bro, you want some too? This time I can actually fight. And that's what matters. Yeah, they got weird nests on their, like, bodies. Weird holes. Weird bug holes. You got a bug hole. You got one of them weird bug holes. Take it. I'll take it. There's the weapon box key. Let's see what kind of goodies are in there, huh? That is nice. <laughs> night. See you, Mateus. Have a good night. It's good to see you all again. Yeah, I should have ended the stream a long time ago, actually, but whatever. I made it past the point I'd make it to. I, so it happens when I play this game. I end up playing longer than I should. Especially when it's like this. Fighting for my life. Will he make it? There's no ink ribbon there. I'm gonna save. I don't even care. I'm saving. I'm saving. It's funny because I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have to actually do anything else. I can just leave. They're probably. Mm, I kind of want to see the cutscene with uh, <laughs> Annette and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I want to see what happens with that. Don't need that anymore. It should be good. If only I had a shotgun, that'd be really nice. I'd just kill everything with a shotgun. Hopefully I'll stream some more. We'll see if I can. I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. I'm definitely a lot busier nowadays than I was back then, too. Actually, it depends. Sometimes I am. And there it is. The end of the game. One of the last items in the game. Finally got it. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll try to stream some more. Try to do some more stuff. See what I can even do. Because yeah, it'd be fun to do this stuff again. It's been a long time, I know. I always had fun doing it. But sometimes life gets in the way and... Something's happened. What's in here? Gee, that... That flamethrower would be very useful today. If I still had ammo in that thing. I had to fight plant monsters in here. Probably don't even have to come in here. Let's see what the lab key is. That's my real question. What's the lab key now? Oh, there's one there too. It's like playing a uh, shingle bolt. It's not even worth it. All right. Well, now I know if I die, I never have to come back in here. It's not worth it. Get hit by this guy too. It sucks. <laughs> Can you get past him? Nope. Nope. Alright, still. I'm just gonna use it. Alright, that's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. But yeah, now I know. Don't have to go in there. But yeah, there's the shotgun, finally. So I had I didn't miss anything. It legitimately can actually is there anything in there? No. I could do the fingerprint ID thing, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. 
But yeah, I got the shotgun now, so that's nice. Too bad all I have to do is fight uh, William now. I don't need the pistol anymore, I guess. I'll take, I'll take that out. I'll just use the shotgun for the rest of the game. I missed a ton of ammo for the shotgun just because I didn't have a shotgun. It was legitimately one of the last items in the game. That's sad. All right. That should hopefully get me through the rest of this. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Wait, I probably should grab that on discount. Well, I wonder if it if that scene won't activate unless I grab the machine gun bullets. Oh. I have to grab the machine gun bullets for Annette to uh, show up, I think. Or does she show up? I guess we'll find out. I think I have to pick up those machine gun bullets for the scene to activate. Take that, because I'm going to get hit again. Because I think Annette's supposed to yell at you when you get that card. Right? Doesn't Annette yell at you when you get that card? So maybe I have to grab the machine gun ammo. It technically counts as the card. We'll see. Let's go through the door. Shit. Oh my god. Why can't these be zombies now? Be too easy, I guess. Just picked up three percent. If it was like ten percent, fifteen percent, it'd be like worth picking those like machine gun bullets up. But it's like it seems like it's not worth it. You like three percent bullets. Oh my god! Really nope. Good. That's why I brought that. Let's see what happens. See if the net actually the scene activates, or if I just have to go on. Maybe it's different on Leon A, because I never play Leon A. Maybe because it's just randomized, it's different, so... Because I had the MO disc. If you have the MO disc, usually that activates the, uh... I don't remember. Maybe I have to go back upstairs. I don't totally remember. Oh! I don't even need that umbrella key card anymore. Does she? I thought she did, and then she comes back and tries to... Yeah, I think I'm supposed to see that scene. Jesus Christ. Really? Double of these guys. Nice thing is... I have plenty of shotgun now. <laughs> I could have had a lot more bullets if I had picked up every single shotgun shell. That is, what is that? I don't remember. But I can also pick up those other shotgun bullets. I'm just trying to get the uh, Annette cutscene to uh, start up. Wait, oh no, you have to make the G virus. Right? Oh, it's been so long since I played Leon A. Do you make the G virus? Cause I always do Leon B. I like Leon B better. I think you make no, you pick it up. You pick it up from Annette's body, and then Ada attacks Leon at the bridge. But maybe because it's randomized, the scenes aren't working. I don't know. We'll go back in here and check out the spider room since I have bullets now. It ain't a big deal but I'm probably just going to have to leave. That's too bad. I wanted to see those cutscenes. Game's broken. I want a refund. I didn't get to see the cool final cutscene with Leon and Ada. Shotgun bullets, I think. Yeah. Oh, the shotgun's so nice. Yeah, poison me. It's the first time I've been poisoned. Oh my god, please tell me I have blue herbs. <laughs> All those blue herbs are ignored. <laughs> I wish 
you had those blue herbs now. It's okay, there's five blue herbs I can grab in any of these stupid rooms. Spiders in one room. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think Annette's supposed to show up. Oh my god. How many spiders are in here? Six spiders? Oh my god. That's really annoying. And I'm still poisoned. I forgot about that. Damn it. And I have nothing to heal with now, I don't think. I should have kept those stupid blue and green herbs. Oh, that's nice. Another green herb. Another blue herb. <laughs> maybe. Maybe if I come in here, maybe now the scene will activate? Because I think that was the point, right? You go down to the bottom of the lab, you get the key, you come back up, you come to there, just to get the... Yep, okay. There it is. You murdered my husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the G virus, didn't you? Yes. Take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Wait a minute, aren't you Ada? Where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> You're so gullible. <laughs> She's one I love the PlayStation 1 sent here by the hand agency. to the mouth thing. The only it's like in why every she game. Came here is to obtain the G virus. That's a lie. No, it's the truth. <laughs> I discovered this when I did a background check on her. I was gonna actually get to beat the game. Specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend. As long as I don't get killed by William, which should be pretty easy, because if I turn him into a dog, I know her. I could just shoot him one time. Ada wouldn't do something miss. like that. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're Ada about to do die something like anyway. that. What happened? Yeah, the ammo disc is that blue green herb. You're right. Yep, that's where it usually is. And, um, yeah, maybe that's what activates the, the cutscene then. The ammo disc. Which means I could have just ran out of here. Sequence has been activated. Repeat. But this the is the important scene. The next scene is the important scene. Activated. I can't miss the next scene. May not be aborted. All Especially if it's Marvin. I hope it's Marvin. <laughs> Come on, Marvin. <laughs> this woman sounds like a woman, but it looks like a man. <laughs> yeah, that's Kendo. Kendo betrayed us. Leon. Who else betrayed us? Chris betrayed us earlier. <laughs> it's Elsa Walker. She wanted her game back. She wants her 1.5 back. She'll do anything to fight for it. What are you doing? Point you blank. know what this is about. So just hand over the G virus. I think there's something wrong with this cutscene. I can't believe this. Annette was right about everything. That's why I told you to leave without me. <laughs> Bye. Listen. Now hand it over. There she is. Don't make me shoot you. You can't do that. I wish it was Fainteen Marvin. I could imagine. <laughs> It'd be great if it was. It actually kind of worked out right there. It actually looks real. Like it really could be Elsa Walker there right now. Got you. Other than the Don't beginning. Give up. Ugh. <laughs> what is that? Leon. It's over. <laughs> Kendo. <laughs> that was actually really weirdly. It really worked out. Surprisingly. Kendo with like blood all over his stomach. No. I promised you that we would escape. You just have to help me out here. <laughs> Elsa's, yeah, giving you the finger. The finger guns. Chris did the same thing. Everything. Bye. Bye. Alright, that's all I wanted to see. I was hoping it was going to be Marvin, because Marvin would have been great. You just kept falling over. And Kendo's just gonna stand there for the rest of his life. 
Nintendo's never gonna, he's just, that's how he died. <laughs> Standing up. So, this I didn't even realize they had, like, Kendo with blood all over him like that. I never looked at his dead body. Kendo, you okay? <laughs> made her do that. Yeah, seriously, what made her do that? Alright, let's grab that rocket launcher and get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Should another one? No, thank god. Alright. I have what? No healing items? No healing items. But I have a rocket launcher. So it's pretty safe. As long as I don't miss. If I miss the rock launcher, it's going to be a lot harder. But I might have this in the bag. Oh, there's dogs now. Oh, this is bad. Uh -oh. That's it for me. <laughs> oh, man. It just keeps throwing things at me. I'm not expecting. <sighs> All right, I gotta do this in danger. If I die, I'm just gonna I'm gonna skip that cutscene. Oh my God, that's it. I can't see. I'm a giant block. <laughs> Good old Kendo died how I like died standing. All right, I got an idea. I'm gonna skip all that. <laughs> I'm just gonna go straight to William now. What did I get up there? All I got was a green herb. Had to kill like 20 spiders. Resident I killed two. What? Two more wickers. And for what? And for what? A cutscene? Alright. Grab the rocket. Oh shit, I'm only back here. But do I need anything in that room? Could take the shotgun. I'll grab the shotgun. Everything else is worthless. Um, we'll just grab. Just in case, I don't think I'll need it. Yeah, I shouldn't need this then. If I can't beat the game with this, I can't beat with anything. But we shall see. Wait, do I have that? So how many first aid sprays were in this? Two? <laughs> Shotguns at the very end of the game? Yeah, this is very unfair. But that's okay. It happens, right? Sometimes you get easy games, sometimes you get hard ones. This is one of the hardest ones. But now, I'll take on good old William. That should be able to do. Maybe. Yeah, because what was in that room? The safe room was just like another blue herb or something. <laughs> something stupid. Really? Right. Let's get that scum, make him pay. So I wonder how this is going to work since I didn't activate the cutscene yet, but I have the MO disc. <laughs> it should just, I'm assuming it's just going to hit the, it's just going to go to the next, uh, the timer's just going to start. Even if the music's not playing. No, oh, there it is. Five minutes until detonation. <laughs> all right, and Ada's still alive. That's the best part. Ada's still alive, and that's still alive. We're all gonna be a happy family. There wasn't really much, was there? I think there was like two. Like, I mean, there's a bunch of green herb mixes, but there was like I think two. Just green herbs by themselves. Yeah. 
Okay, okay two bullets left. He walks. Oh, he's definitely stronger in uh, hard mode. Not strong enough, though. See, that's really messed up, see? William Burke turns into a dog, not him. So they decided, hey, why don't we turn... Nemesis into a dog. That'd be fun. He just like William Burke, and even though they're completely different. One's a parasite, and one's a virus. Oh, that did not kill him. <laughs> I, did, I did not know he could survive a rocket, well, the rocket to the face. Okay. It's definitely uh, going to be harder than I thought. Ouch. I was like, yeah, rocket launch will take care of him. Nope, not quite. Let's see. Shit. Not fair. Really? I might die after all. Damn. Okay. Uh, how many bullets does it take to kill the dog on hard? A rocket wasn't enough? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Well, now I gotta save my magnum bullets then. I was not expecting that. I was like, oh yeah, I could just take out the magnum, blast away the first part, and just shoot this dude with a rocket and it'd be over. Not quite. Evil too. That's shocking. I didn't know anything could survive a single... Maybe it's random health too or something. That's weird. Generally was not expecting that at all. Uh, God. I can end this. <laughs> In fact, I only have one healing item. I'm already on like... I'm already on, like, caution as soon as I started this game. It's not a good sign. But yeah, this time I won't waste, uh... This time I won't waste magnum bullets on the... Whatchamacallit, dude. The liquor. The evolved, nasty spider liquor thing. Don't need the pistol anymore. I should. I should need the pistol anymore. Oh, I have a. I didn't realize I had a green herb. Nice. All right. Take out this liquor. Hopefully, kill William. You imagine? I don't, geez, if he can take a rocket to the face like that, imagine trying to do it with just a knife. Legitimately, wouldn't be fair. Never. I don't, I don't know. If people can just play these games without, with just a knife. All right. All right. All right. Now we'll get it. And this time. I thought, like, in all the Resident Evils, I think, I always thought that the rocket just killed everything in one shot. Five minutes until detonation. In fact, it doesn't kill William Burke in one shot, it's crazy. But that's okay. I've got firepower. Sort of. Seven bullets to hopefully end it. After I shoot him with the rocket. Find out. You don't do hit me, you're not supposed to hit me. 
I got greedy. Sometimes you just get greedy. It's like, oh, I can do two shots. It's only 100 feet away from me. Probably better with the shotgun. Just shoot him once. It's too slow. It'd be really slow if I had the upgraded shotgun. Remember those parts I ignored? I to found the upgrade, the upgrade shotgun over the... Uh, Hi, Jester. How's it going? Been a long time, huh? But, uh... <laughs> In fact, I just found the shotgun upgrade parts before the shotgun. It's pretty bad. Get down here, boy. Get down here. Can you please come down? Come down. <laughs> Oh, there you are. I missed. <laughs> well, now it's over. That's it. That's it. Life has been wet. I can't read this. There's a stupid heart over the f chat nowadays. I can't read it. Hope, oh. Hope life's been kind to me. Yeah, I guess. It's the same old, same old. It changes. Live to survive, survive to live, do your best. It's just, you know, it's a roller coaster, I guess. Life is one giant, okay. No. Nice knowing me. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can beat. Blame with what I have. Especially if you can take a rocket to the face and live. I'm gonna try very hard to. I don't know if I have enough ammo to beat him. Especially if I, if a rocket launcher does not work, I don't know if this ammo, will, all this will work. But who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky. That's so not fair. He's leaving twice. Jesus. It's only been like five years. All these people are older now. It's weird because I had. I was thinking about that. I was like, if I if I start streaming again, the last time I've seen some people, they were still kids. Now they're adults. Oh, I beat them. Hey, look at that. Didn't even need the rocket launcher. I totally missed the rocket launcher, but I still beat them. Apparently, the rocket launcher is weaker in this game. I never used the rocket launcher in this game, so I had no idea. I totally missed, and it didn't seem like I used that much ammo to defeat them. But there we go. I'm dying, but I did it. <laughs> I'm on danger, but I did it. <laughs> crawl to the crawl to the stupid train. I'm just happy I beat it. It took me all day to do, but I did it. <laughs> that was the hardest Resident Evil run I've ever done in my life. <laughs> and that was uh, that was not fun. <laughs> it was kind of fun. It was interesting to see like. Uh, See randomizer mode, see with like the not PlayStation 1 version of the game. Like it's a little too clean for me. I don't know, it's a little too HD playing this version, the, this PC port. Source next version with, with also HD modded it, so it has like AI rendered backgrounds and stuff. They took all the old renderings of the backgrounds and <laughs> and re-rendered them with AI. Are you okay? Yes. Which is very weird to see. Yeah, last time I did this, there was... What? 8 hadn't come out yet? Resident Evil 8 came out. Resident Evil 2 Remake came out. Resident Evil 3 Remake came out. Resident Evil 4 Remake came out. Since I last streamed. <laughs> a, few, a few Resident Evils. Oh, and and also, the best things ever, the multiplayer ones. What were those games called? One was called um, Resistance. And the other one was called Re-something, Re-Reverse. <laughs> I saw those and I was like, yeah, I'm never going to play these games. I don't know why they keep making these dumb spin-off games like that. It's like, if, at least, I don't know. If you're going to make a spin-off game that's multiplayer, maybe try to do something like uh, Revelations 2. The uh, raid mode, because that was a lot of fun. The raid mode 
on Revelations 2 is like a really fun co-op game. If you've never played it, you want to play like Resident Evil with like a friend. Resident Evil 2 Revelations is really good. Yeah, are you verse? I've never turned it on. I got, it's funny because you get it for free. Everyone got it for free and still nobody played it. I like this ending. This isn't the normal ending. What is this? This is like the uh, modded ending or something. They must have put it in the mod. All the people that worked on it, maybe. Interesting to see this. It's a little different. But yeah, I really like Revelations 2 raid mode just because of the two-player mode. I wish more Resident Evil games had something like that. Because those are those are really fun. On Resident Evil uh, Revelations raid mode, you get like each character has a specific ability they let they have. Like I think Chris can turn invincible for like five seconds or something like that. So he like tur literally turns into gold or something like that, and you can't be hurt by zombies. And if you play as Wesker, you can. Uh, I think he attacks faster or he has stronger melee attacks or something. I can't remember what his move is. Leon has some like force push power. You can like push all the zombies away from him. But everyone has like a weird unique skill. And it's like a level up system. It's like an RPG game kind of. You could get to level up your skills and your, your character, upgrade your guns. It's a very weird system for a Resident Evil game, but it's fun. Yeah. There's been a lot of Resident Evil, like, Leon voice actors. But yeah, I remember he died a few years ago, right? A couple years ago? I think it was, like, literally two years ago. It might have been last year. It's your last year or the year before. I think, right? If I remember right. It's been a long... It's been a while since I heard about that, but I did hear about that. I miss Claire's voice actor. She would, The first, the original Claire's voice actor was always the best. It's just not the same anymore. <laughs> Do I get ranked on this on this random mode? Because if I did, I did horrible. I probably got like a D D rank or C rank, maybe. Maybe not, because I did load a lot. I might have done all right. Hey, two hours. It's not bad. Twelve saves. A rank. How do I get A rank if I used first aids? Doesn't count, I guess. That was insanely hard. <laughs> Even for having. 12 saves. It was insanely hard. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Um, it's been a few... It's been a... I don't know. It's been a rough few years. I don't know. With COVID and all that, it's not been, not been fun. For sure. Especially for a lot of people. And now I'm focused on my new career. That's that's taking a whole thing. And I, But I'm getting through school. I'm still going through like school and stuff. Which I have tomorrow. But yeah, I just happened to have today off randomly. So we'll see when I can uh, stream next time. I have no idea. Hopefully soon. But yeah, it's been uh, a lot of changes for all of us, I'm sure. But yeah, that's going to be it for me to, for today. I'll see you all later, all right? You all have a good, uh, good night. <laughs> Big things happening? Good. Good, good, good. It's good to hear. Try to, yeah, keep trying to do big things. Better than just, uh, I don't know, always change, do something more. Try to do something more. Don't get stuck. Don't get stagnant. Don't get, I don't know, just don't, don't, what do they call that? Don't become pl complacent. Once you become complacent, that's where everything kind of goes down. Oh, I wonder if these scenes will be different, actually. Let's see. Oh, it's Tofu. No, I think it just changes Leon's character to Tofu. I don't think anything else changes. But uh, but yeah, keep doing what you gotta do. Don't get complacent. Don't get stagnant. Just do your thing. Don't be like me. <laughs> all right, have a good night. See y'all next time. Whoa, gotta change this too. I forgot how to even do this. <laughs> it's been so long since I've done OBS and all that. But yeah, I guess I could just do that. Wait, no. Do that, and then I just turn off here. All right, have a good night, everybody.